Oh, nobody told me it was time. Sorry, I'm trying to get Dan's computer to work so I can pull up the recipe. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I didn't realize it was 6 o'clock. How is everybody doing tonight? It is nice and cool. It is 75. Let's be thankful for that because we were not so lucky last week, and I'm sure we won't be so lucky for the rest of the summer. But we are feeling good tonight. We are ready to make some cinnamon apple crumb cake. It's hard to remember the wording of the recipe, especially when I haven't been able to pull the recipe. Is it still... So, okay. Are we computing? We are computing. Bear with me, guys, while I find this recipe. Uh, I have all my ingredients ready. I just don't have it up on the computer yet. I did see Amanda is baking along with us tonight. I'm happy to see that. Anybody else baking along? I have made this one several times. I did uh, mention in the post I've made it like three times now, I think. Trying to find the perfect apple coffee cake. I love apple baked into a bread or cake. And I just want something that's the right combination of flavors and textures. And it's been kind of a struggle, but this one is pretty spot on with a few little tweaks that I'll show you guys as we go along. We are almost there. Uh, Amanda, curious, what kind of apples are you using? I usually bake with Granny Smith apples. You guys know those are my favorite. I love them in all kinds of baked recipes. So that's usually what I use. Uh, Athena says, I would, but I don't have anything to bake with. Like ingredients or an oven? Um, unfortunately, this does require an oven. We've done a handful of things that require um, an air fryer, and those have been fun. And I think during the summer, we're probably going to have to find some more, because when it's 100 degrees at 6 o'clock, I do not want to turn on the oven. So I will definitely be looking for more air fryer recipes. Uh, ingredients. Oh, I am always stuck. At any given time, if you want me to bake something, I can whip something up. It might not be the exact thing you want. It might not have apples. It might not have carrots or whatever, but I've always got flour, sugar, all the basics. I love having a stocked baking cupboard so I can make something so mud at cakes. a moment's notice. What? It was mud cakes. <laughs> not mud. Mug. Mud. Mug cakes. Uh, Amanda is also using Granny Smith apples. Good to hear. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I have one more thing to get out. Bear with me, guys. While I'm getting stuff set up, if you guys were not here on Wednesday, what day is it? Friday, Wednesday? Yeah, if you were not here on Wednesday and you guys are a member of the Dan TV level membership of the RFS Dan channel, make sure you guys go check out the, what are we calling it? RFS Home Movies? Sure. <laughs> um, <coughs> previously, at the uh, Dan TV level, you guys had exclusive access to the podcast. You've been the only ones able to hear the, I'm sorry, not a podcast, uh, in the house. In the house? It's weird to say in the house. Typing is one thing, saying it out loud is a little bit weird. We can vote on a change soon. Yeah? We can let everybody name it later. <laughs> we might have to do that. We might definitely have to do that. Placeholder. Yes. Uh, Hannah says, loved you, what, loved watching you watch the old vlogs. Yes, so basically what we're doing is we're starting at the beginning of the vlogs on this channel. Day one of vlogging, we went to a bookstore. We started there, what did we watch, three, four of our old vlogs? Four, four of them? Um, and you basically get a director's commentary. I don't know if you guys were ever into those when DVDs were big and you could watch the director's commentary. I got into that for a while. Yeah, I watched... that was your thing? You were like, you were like buying DVDs based on the back? That little line with director's commentary. No, not necessarily, but once you'd seen a movie a few times, like, let's see what they have to say about it. And in this scene, I decided <laughs> that the refractory light would come in and shine. Don't act like you have not watched Kevin Smith movies with the director's commentary. Absolutely, but those are funny. <laughs> They're all like, niche. And stuff. So <laughs> like... Look, there were some good ones out there. Uh, so but that's basically what's going on here. It's fun for us. To go back and watch the stuff that we have not seen in, uh, I think, what was it, 12, 12 years ago? Is that, was it 2010, Dan? What? The first vlog, 2010? 14. 2014. Okay, so eight years ago. Um, stuff we haven't seen for eight years. We don't go back and watch it. We record it, Dan edits it, it goes out into the youtube -iverse, and we really don't watch him again. So it's fun to go back and see little baby Blake. He looks so young. Um, and then just kind of comment on things, tell stories whatever kind of pops in our head while we're doing it. I think as we go along and the vlogs get more uh, involved, more things are going on, I'm a little more present in them. It'll be a lot more fun. But yeah, we, we had a lot of fun with I that. It was so a lot of fun. if you are already at the Dan TV level of membership, you guys can go watch that right uh, after the show, Af after we're done here, because you're not going to want to miss this. If you are not at that level yet, if you are at the... 
RFS fam level coming <laughs> next week. We have two levels, and how is it so hard for both of us to keep track of it? <laughs> can't remember anything uh next week you guys are going to get access to the podcast so podcast is moving down from the ten dollar membership level down to the five dollar membership level which will be fine because it'll be a lot more fun it'll be a lot more people listening so it'll be a lot more interaction yes yes not a lot of you signed up for the ten dollar membership not a problem at all but we want more of you guys to be able to experience the podcast so we're moving that down and we're giving you guys at the ten dollar level a little bit more for your buck um each of those are going to come out every other week and they'll alternate so if you're at the ten dollar level you'll get both so one week you'll get a podcast, next week you'll get uh, an episode of us watching our home movies. So that'll be fun for you guys. You'll have double the content, double the bonus content. You know, you're going to say something. Good job, Vince Hoffer. <laughs> you'll love our nuts. You'll love our nuts. <laughs> Do I get a mouse? Oh yeah, I'll bring you one here. It's coming right now. Did you, did you miss out on some, some chats? Well, I just want to make sure that I'm on top of things. Okay, uh, Sam cool. voting that we make ice cream next month with crazy toppings. I don't know that it's the best idea to make ice cream when it is 100 degrees. We might have to wait until like September or October to make ice cream, but we will see how that goes. It's, it's really hot. Like, it's hard to ice a cake here in the summertime. Oh, I know. It took you so long. Yes, I've talked about it before. When I make a uh, cake, well, when Blake was younger, I would make really involved cakes with the, you know, shaped cake pans. And I would do like maybe a dozen or so little squirts of the icing and then it'd have to go back in the fridge. Everything back in the fridge for 10, 15 minutes and then come back out and quick as I could do as much as I could until everything got soft again. So baking in the summertime here gets really difficult and that's probably why I got into midnight baking, which is a little hard with an eight to five job, but... I'm a midnight baker. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez. Uh, Lisa, hello. Thank you for joining us. Wants to know if we can make some cat treats. She works in a cattery and would love to see that. Wait. Is it cattery where they can cats? Oh my god, I hope not. <laughs> I imagine it's like uh, out here, uh, in, well, the next town over in Rosemond, we have the uh, exotic feline compound. They have a lot of really cool big cats out there. So I imagine it's that sort of thing. But let me know if I'm wrong. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, we have been asked about that. We've talked about it. The problem with that is that um, most cat treats are like fish and tuna based. Um, being a vegetarian, I'm not opposed to like cooking meat for the boys and stuff. I cannot stand the smell of fish and tuna when it's cooking. Um, I don't want to put that in the oven. I've looked for recipes. I know like you guys watch Jess. All you guys know who Gone to the Snow Dogs are. She does the uh, dog treat videos. Those are amazing. All the stuff she makes looks delicious, even if it is for the dogs. Like it looks really amazing. Um, you happy birthday? Oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, it looks amazing, but dogs are a lot easier. You can give them all kinds of fruits and things. Cats don't want that stuff. Uh, Mooch just wants cream cheese and like a can of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> and, key lime, and key lime yogurt. And, <laughs> and he hasn't milk. been a fan of that lately. He loves my leftover cereal. Loves cereal. Uh, Lisa says, no, we take care for people's cats when they go away on vacation. I'm in the UK. Okay, we don't really use that word here. We would use like animal boarding or something like that, but I get it. I get what it is. Um, I would love to be able to make the cats special treats. I just don't want to cook tuna. I really, really don't. Um, you guys may see happy birthday right above Mooch here. Today is his gotcha day. He is 15. He is a grumpy old man grumping around this house. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard us talk about it. He doesn't want anybody to have fun. If any of the cats are having any sort of fun, this grumpy old man will wake up from a dead sleep and go just... I don't know. The, it's not a meow. It's not a growl. It's not a hiss. It's just like old man noises. Just, he just, just stop. Stop having fun. Nobody can have fun when I'm here. So... He's uh, fully embraced his grumpy old manness. We did the math the other day. My mom was trying to figure out. So her cat Nala is now 19. And we were doing the math. Uh, you know, they do the conversion of like dogs with seven years per human. It has to do with how their body ages and stuff like that. Uh, Nala's like 115. I know. The other day when I was over there, she meowed at me, but she talked in like Yoda <laughs> meows. I believe it. Yes. Uh, so Mooch is like late 70s at this point. Mm -hmm. He is a grunch, grumpy old man who wants you to get off of his mm -hmm. lawn, please. Yep. So, everybody wishing him a happy gotcha day. Thank you so yes. much. Uh, Lisa says maybe some yogurt treats. It's a heat wave in the UK, London at the moment. Yogurt treats are a good idea. I will look into that for sure. We make uh, human yogurt treats. When Blake was young, I discovered you could take yogurt and like throw it in a Ziploc. We did it on the show, actually. You throw yogurt in a Ziploc and cut the corner off and then just like squirt little buttons onto a baking sheet and throw it in the oven. And you have like a cool little frozen snack. You make little frozen yogurt bites. Um, I still need a mouse stand. I, I have super Sweet. chats. 
<laughs> Thanks. Or an orange, if you want. Um, my mom, one time at work, went to reach for her mouse, and it wasn't where it was supposed to be, so she did one of these, and then grabbed her uh, cutie, the little tiny oranges, and started doing this <laughs> before I called her out that that was not a mouse. So, yeah, Mandarin, orange, mouse, whatever you got. I will get to you guys' super chat. Sorry, waiting for it to connect. Um, thank you guys all so much for happy birthday, Mooch. Uh, comments. He, he woke up for it. He's not happy about it, but... Uh, is that a yes or a no? It is a no. Yeah, I, I, have, a I have nothing. Nothing. Uh, I do see Mouse Queen Super Chat. Thank you so much, friend. Thanks for popping in. Love to see you here. Well, well, looky who it is. Happy Friday, Crystal and Hawk Boy. Happy Gotcha hey. Day to Mooch. Happy Gotcha Day, Mooch. Yeah, that was Mooch. forever ago we went and found him. The oven for a frozen treat. Did I say pop it in the oven? I meant freezer. You knew what I meant. You knew what I meant. Uh, yes, it's working now. Uh, Amanda posted a picture of her kitchen helper. I will get to that. Give me just a moment. She's left now because she's not getting anything. Isn't that how it goes? Uh, Brittany, with the how's it going super chat. Going really well. Hope you are doing well, friend. I hope your new job is still going well. Uh, Chris has gone to the what dogs? Nope, never heard of it. <laughs> oh, the mouse is a fickle beast. Is it lagging? Let me see if it's a battery issue. Okay, let's check out Amanda's post. <laughs> Aw, she looks sad already. Let's see if I can show you guys. Sadie, right? Is that her name, Sadie? I think that's it. Uh, here is Amanda's kitchen helper who's not getting bites. She's adorable, by the way. Uh, I wonder if the cats would eat frozen watermelon treats. Uh, they don't eat watermelon, like, anyway, so I don't think frozen would make a difference. They're not really big on fruit. Like, Mooch likes carrots. That's about it. Uh, Topo loves edamame. Will fight you for an edamame shell. Oh, can you calm down? Pit stop. Jeez. Back in the race. Uh, no, still the same kind of jumpy. Uh, Megan says, hi, RFS Doofy. <laughs> uh, Wolfie says, yo, Doofy Hawk Boy. So, Dan, they will I, never forget. I was laying in bed, and I was like, they're not coming back with that, right? That was, that was it. It's over, right? They're holding on to it forever. Dan, I've never lived down almond extract, and that was on, like, the first show. You think you're going to live down Doofy? Never. Never, never, never. Uh, Teresa wants to know how old Mooch is. Mooch is 15 years yeah. old. Um, we are approximating his gotcha date. I know it was around this time of year, but we don't have any vlogs from then. I don't know if we weren't vlogging or if we just didn't make videos then or I, it's I, we weren't consistent. I don't know what was going on. I have no idea, but we don't have an actual date. But I can tell you, we came home from work one day, and as we were getting out of the car and walking up the driveway to the door, uh, we could hear a kitten meowing. And I have, like, radar for that. For any time a kitten's meowing anywhere, I'm like, I hear a cat. Where's the cat? Uh, he was in the bushes on the other side of our backyard wall. And Blake and I went over there with a can of food and probably spent about half an hour over there trying to get him out of the bushes. He was a tiny little baby, too tiny to be away from his mom. Like, he still wanted mom, but old enough to, you know, survive away from his mom. And I picked him up. And if you guys have seen him in the videos, you know Dan, oh Dan, Mooch loves to snuggle into my neck. And I picked him up and held him right here. And that was the first thing he did was snuggle into my neck. And he's been doing it for 15 years. He has never stopped. And uh, I think he imprinted on me like a baby duck and thinks I'm his mom. So here we are 15 years later. Dan always thought like, Yay, oh, he'll, he'll stop You're doing like, that. He'll he outgrow it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I've never had a cat not outgrow these kinds of behaviors. But for some reason, uh, Mooch still wants to suckle on my knuckle. If I, <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I do this, he'll try to, like, suckle on it and uh, still wants to wrap his arms around my neck and snuggle uh, into it. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mouse Queen with a super chat, thank you. Says, Dano, don't make me travel over there, doofy hawk boy NASA genius. Wait. I'll be popping in a pic that I worked on earlier this week. Hope you like it. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Thank that. you for the super chat. Are they adding to my name? Uh, yes, she she has multiplied it. Doofy, Hawkboy, NASA, genius. Yes. I got you. Should, the genius might have to be tweaked a little. <laughs> uh, Chris says, "Would you like a little suckle of my knuckle?" <laughs> <laughs> we usually call it knuckle munching. I don't know where suckle my knuckle came from, but now it's a thing. I've never heard those words before. Right now. <laughs> nope. No. There, there you have it. Are we disturbing you with our laughter? 
Uh, ESL wants to know, how did you pick his name? Because he, when he was a kitten, and still to this day, wanted bites of everything. So he was just a little mooch. He wanted to come mooch your food constantly. What you got? Can I have some of that? Um, at the time, I was on a big kick of key lime yogurt, which I still eat to this day, but I really ate a lot of it. And he loved the key lime yogurt and uh, croissants sliced open with a slice of provolone cheese in the middle of it. That was his jam. And uh, he's still to this day, like, he's here. He sits right here because he knows food's being made. As soon as something he smells like a cream cheese or a milk or uh, last week with the heavy cream, anytime anything like that comes out, he's aware and ready for it. So yeah, he's just a big food moocher. So here we go. All right, we should get to this. We've got quite a few steps going on. First step is going to be uh, the cinnamon streusel crumb. Amanda, I don't know, I don't remember if I linked the recipe when I posted it. I just realized today I forgot to post it to Pinterest, but it is there now. If you have not pulled up the recipe, it is there for you now. So you can pull that up if you don't want to uh, lag along with me, because you know, I kind of take my time when we do this. So first steps first, we're gonna mix them together our dry ingredients in here. This is gonna be for our streusel crumb topping, and it's gonna be one and a half cups of flour. Uh, Dr. Detroit, thank you for the reminder. Can you remind me in a little bit? I'm not turning the oven on yet. While it is 74 outside, it's, it's still a little warm in here. I'm not ready to turn the oven on yet. We've got a few steps left to go before I will turn this on. We've got some layering and some sprinkling. So yes, please remind me when I'm further ahead in the recipe. So one and a half cups of flour. One, uh, uh, uh. two, uh, uh, uh. three, uh, uh, uh. Uh, Teresa says, I completely forgot what we are doing tomorrow. Does anyone know? Yes, we are doing a regular call-in episode of Dantix tomorrow. Next Saturday will be our episode of Guess the Movie from the Screenshot, which Dan has been working really hard on. So I hope you guys like that. It looks like it's going to look really, really good. Okay, I need to get one more measuring cup here. Bear with me. And Dora says, hey there, friends. Late girl has arrived. I've developed a bad habit. You should set a reminder on your phone every Friday at like 5.55 because people are here and chatting before we even go live. We have the chat on the screen as we're setting everything up and I can see you guys chatting. I kind of love it. Everybody's so friendly and, and cool with each other. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Half a cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup. Okay, let me... Switch out for this so I can use the same one. Quarter cup of sugar. Despite the fact that there's fruit in this, it is not a healthy recipe. There's quite a bit of sugar going on in it. Uh, Hannah, I did see that you sprained your ankle. I hope you were doing okay. I'm sure it's not comfortable, but I hope you're making yourself as comfortable as you can. <laughs> I did a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no, it's sprung. She <laughs> thought it was broken and went to the hospital to find out, but it's just <laughs> a sprain. Uh, then we're adding a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna keep this out because I think there might be brown sugar in the next part, but I don't quite remember. Whoa. And Dora said, I used to be good about it. Then this sun thing came out of hiding and warmth happened and I tend to get sidetracked now. That's fair, that's fair. Okay, so to this, we are going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Oh my gosh, I always know when Dan has put away the measuring spoons last. because they're... they're in alphabetical order? <laughs> Is that what you're doing? I cannot figure it out. Uh, Mouse Queen says the art has been posted. Dan, do you have a... Did I give you admin rights? Are you able to approve it and, and show her art? Mr. Whoa. Jones and me doesn't Stop. have admin access. <laughs> um, this is why we measure our salt over the uh, sink and not over the pan because it just clumped out everywhere and like a whole tablespoon fell out. So there's half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, Yes, it is Mooch's uh, approximate gotcha date. Mooch is 15 now. He's a grumpy old man. Eh, close enough. And a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg is something that, like, even if there's only a half a little piece in it, I can always taste it. 
I like it. It's a nice little addition. It blends nicely with the cinnamon. Did you? Oh, you you don't have admin. Get in big way, Crystal. I'm just. Uh, I don't it. think she posted it in there. I think it was the family group. Oh yeah. Let me see. Would you? Okay, so that's everything there. I don't know. Check and see. I do. You want to see it now? Yeah, go ahead and show it off. I'm just mixing up my dry ingredients here. Check out this Tron. Oh, nice. This cool, like, Tron concept. I like it. Um, it's hard to s it's hard to see, but all that stuff's super shiny blue. Like, way more shinier and glowing than it shows. Yes, if you guys want to see um, its true good job. colors and see how good it looks, it is on the RFS Family Facebook group. All right, here we go. Here's the most recent project. This character has come back from near death and is about to wreck some, about to wreck shop against an enemy who is also responsible for brainwashing his father. Wow, why would you do that to your dad? <laughs> I, I'm planning to add an epic lightning flash in the background as well. It looks really good. I will hit the approve button. What if I hit deny? Deny, deny. That's not very nice. Deny, good job. There have been times I've accidentally hit deny like as I'm trying to scroll and I'm like, I can't get it back. Me too. It <laughs> happened to me uh, on the dog's, the dog's, uh, the potty uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook group. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes there'll be a lot of stuff in there and I'll accidentally hit the wrong button. It happens. <laughs> I, I may have banned some people and been like, oh no, how do you unban people? And then apology letters have been written. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. All I'm right, so, so to this, we are going to add a half a cup of melted butter. So I'm going to melt my butter. Uh, Doris, member for 15 months with her member, Super Chat. Thank you so much. I know you were a little late, so you might have missed it. But at the RFS fan level of membership starting next week... I'm not sure which day because I don't have the calendar in front of me. Uh, but starting next week, you guys are getting access to our uh, audio recording, not a podcast. That's going down to the RFS fam level. And our new uh, video project is going up to the Dan TV level. Uh, her member super chat says, happy birthday slash gotcha day to Mooch. Happy Friday to the fam. Happy Yay. Friday to you. And I'm glad you joined us tonight. I, like I said, I gave Mooch extra bites in my sandwich. I was going to get him chicken nuggets <laughs> today because he loves chicken nuggets. Also, it's an excuse for me to have chicken nuggets. Uh, but then I ran out of time. So um, speaking of excuses to get chicken nuggets, Dan, we need to have a talk. Ooh, what? So this morning, you guys, I got to work and I went outside to feed the cats as I do because I am a crazy cat lady. And I noticed that uh, my back tire was almost completely flat. So I texted Dan, like, hey, uh, my tire's really low. And he asked me if there was something in it. I'm like, yeah, probably. Didn't, didn't go out and check. I just noticed it's, like, not just a little low, like it's got a slow leak. Like, it's, it needs to be fixed. Something's going on. Uh, so Dan came over and saved the day. Uh, I think maybe for the first time ever, took a tire off a car. Was that, was that your first time? It was a boss move. I, I... No, no, no. That's not what I'm asking. What? Was that your first time taking a tire off of a car? No, there's... Um... It is not, but maybe 10 times that max in my life, just okay. to be safe. My mom was very concerned, and, and uh, when I went back inside, she rushed over to the door to watch you and supervise. Oh, no, you guys, and I didn't even get to see her, because it's like, you can't see inside your shop at all. You can't if you so, look, <laughs> if you get close enough. No, I it lefty Lucy the whole time, I got it off, I got the donut on there, I was cruising on the donut, <laughs> it said 25. 25. No, I nailed it. I got that thing right on there, no problem. Jacked up the car. So I, I, I'm not going to lie. I was a little concerned. I get the donut on there. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> like, how do you think I feel? I'm I'm me. I, yeah, I, driving the car. Everybody's concerned about Dan, and I have to, like, I, <laughs> you all can run away. I can't You're run away. You're stuck with it. I'm stuck with me, right? So I'm in the car, and I'm driving, and it's like... It's Come like... On, you're beautiful. <laughs> It's like 25 miles an hour on the donut, I guess. Which, uh, the old man customer that was sitting outside waiting for someone who then came in while you were out there made sure to come and tell me. Oh, the Didn't Hill. tell you because you're a man. He would have uh, been nice if he'd have done it. Came, came in and told, told me. me as a female, you know you can only drive 25 miles an hour on those. Thanks, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, but nice I'm just a girl. told me that. 
So I hop on it. You're a man. He assumed you knew. At, a, at about 40 miles an hour, it starts letting out this wail, and it sounds like a baby crying. Because you're not supposed to go 40, <laughs> So, yeah, so right at 40, it's all, way. Like so then you have to slow down to shut the baby up because and then when you go in the roundabout and you turn because it's the back right one and you turn back to the right and you turn back to the left it's all it was great it sounded like a tie fighter oh and, <laughs> so anyway let's not get distracted from the talk we need to have what so dan gets the tire fix it takes forever because these things take forever uh gets gets the the there was a, a screw in the tire right get it patched uh, then you took it home, so then I had to drive his car home. Right. Dan. Yeah. The entire... So you know on the driver's side, there's like that little compartment that you can put things in? Yeah. Your entire compartment is filled with cheeseburger wrappers. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought I threw all those away. Uh, no, you shoved them in your door. Like, dozens. Oh. Dozens, There's Dan. not dozens in there. Cheeseburger wrappers? That's what it looks like. It, it, it's, it's it's not one or two. It's mostly receipts. It's mostly receipts. I'm going to go pull some receipts when we're done here. It's all right. You'll be thankful when I get in a car accident and it's and the only thing that saved my life was the extra padding of the receipts. And it's <laughs> Shut like your mouth. McDonald's gives back as it saves Dan's life. And then I get a free cheeseburger card forever. So this is why... When I, I budget at the end of the month and I see like 15 charges on there for McDonald's and I'm like, you didn't eat it that many times because you're sneaking it in your car. You do call it McDonald's. I do. Jess it's... was telling me one day, she was like, Crystal says it's McDonald's. What's okay. That? No, and the I was reasoning like, I didn't for notice it. that and now I notice it. <laughs> the reasoning for it is when Jason worked there, um, we got tons of boxes from there. Uh-huh. And because like we were in the process, like I moved in with you when he worked there. He moved out of here. We had tons of their fry boxes and the fry boxes say Mac fries on them, M-A-C. So everything just became Mac and it became McDonald's. And that's what we say. Uh, Dr. Trey says next time take the tire to discount slash America tires. I got in and out of there in 30. That's exactly where we went. That's where we got our tires. That's where we went. A little bit longer, hour and 30. But yeah, it, just, it depends on when you go, where you go, like I, I which like location. Them. They, we've gone there forever. They've always been super cool. It was yes. free. So, but they fixed the tire. I just had to wait like a long uh, time. Sam wants the camera to go outside to uh, pull some receipts out of your door and see how many are out there. I don't think the cord's long enough, but there's definitely some receipts. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a little disappointed, Dan. All right, so Mouse Queen with the Super Chat says, Just to clarify, Dano, Beck, the hero in the pic I shared, is fighting the bad doggos who did the bad things to his dad. He is avenging his father. Avenging's time-consuming. <laughs> but I, it works. I like it. Hannah I says, like I'm it. sorry, McDonald's? Yeah, the, the, I, it's, a, it's how I've said it for like 20 years. I'm never going to not say it that way. We, Jason says it too. Jason, are you watching? Please please confirm Mac McDonald's. It is McDonald's. I, did you see my mouse again? Did, did I? Oh, sorry. When uh, Mouse with the Super Chat wants to know, does this give me credence to call Dan Sloppy Joe? Uh, sloppy Doofy. <laughs> no, it it no. is Sloppy Doofy. And yes, absolutely. Uh, Dan is not, like, disgusting in the sense of, like, filth. Dan is messy. And Dan does not always put trash where it goes, especially when he has a car he could throw it in. It's just that, like, there's just stuff everywhere. Like there's just always stuff everywhere. It's not like trash. Like I'm like a, I'm life. like a hoarder, but like the stuff's not like bad. It's like wires wait, from twenty wait. years ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't collect stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh! How would you bake something? <laughs> We're oh my gosh! There. Thanks, Doctor Phil. I feel good. It's not five hundred degrees today. We're it's not we're, five, he, we're here for a while. It's not 500 degrees today. I was so happy about that. Exactly. Tomorrow, and, too. I heard tomorrow's not 500 degrees. Right. And Sunday, too. Sunday's going to be like 87, I think. I'm doing some gardening. Also, the longer I put this off, the longer it is till I have to turn on the oven and make it hot in here. So there you go. Uh, Jess T with the super chat. Stop stealing my mouse! <laughs> Jess T with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, hey, Dan. What do you call the same thing as a cinnamon roll? A cinnamon bun? A cinnamon roll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who said that? Jess uh, T. Jess T, of oh, course. Of course. Good of course. Hello, happy uh, Friday, Jess T. Adele happy Friday. says, it's all right, Crystal. It's Macca's in Australia, uh, so Mac Donald's right. makes sense to me. Thank you. Yeah, you guys like made this whole other word out of it, see? That's right. Who said that? Adele. Oh, She's yes, that's right. I forgot that. It's Macca's. <laughs> what? 
Uh, Mouse with the super chat says, "Actually, Dan, you'd be surprised. I'm bad at that too. Organization is not my strong suit. I keep telling him, well, go to the doctor because you have ADD. You need a medication to help you focus, but he doesn't want to do it." Uh, Sam says, "Good thing Dan has you, Crystal, to keep things clean and tidy and keep him in line." Yes, yes, absolutely. Dan, uh, Dan's version of cleaning is like, let me take all of these things and stack them up and put them over here, and look, now it's clean. And then there's piles of things that don't go together everywhere. Just kills me. I don't know how I live like this. A mouse with the super chest is ah, synonym rolls, just like grammar used to make. <laughs> I love it, love it. Adele says, just ossified it. Yeah, you guys have this whole other slang. Um, I've talked about it before. I love like sunnies and uh, parma for your chicken parmesan, it's just parma. Love it. We, we picked up on a lot of that watching the uh, Australian Survivor and Australian Big Brother. Okay. I was kind of stalling waiting for my, my butter to cool down because I just melted it. So now we can add that. Gila the Husky, thank you so much for your member super chat. Says, hi there, guys. TGIF. I'm going to mention it one last time because I think you just got here, Gila the Husky. Starting next week, you at the RFS fam membership level will get access to the... Uh, in the house, not a podcast, audio recording. A new episode will be out next week, and you guys at that level will get it. If you guys are not a member and want to become a member, you can click on the community tab. And for about five bucks a month, you can be the RFS fam level, get access to uh, one member super chat a month, the emojis, the uh, mohawk next to your name, and uh, every other week there will be an episode of the podcast out. The Dan TV level will get you access to our, our home movies and the podcast. So you get both. Before I stir this all the way, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla. Ish. All right, so then you just mix this together and this is gonna be like a crumbly topping for the top. So you wanna do this first because it is gonna be a little moist when you first mix it up, but it dries out a little bit as it sits. So do this first and then set it aside. And then by the time you're ready to put it on top, it will be at the right consistency. And you just wanna do it till all of the dried floury bits are mixed in and there's no more dry ingredients left. And it's all been... Uh, mashed together. Hey Dan, you want to hear a joke about trash? What? What's that? Do you want to hear a joke about trash? Oh yeah, for sure. Never mind, it's mostly garbage. Aww. <laughs> Good one, Hannah. <laughs> Adele says, oh don't start on the Parma talk. That one can depend on where you're located too. It's Parma on the east, but the real way to say it is the South Osway, which is Parmi. Never heard of that. <laughs> Interesting. We didn't know what they were talking about for the longest. I don't know if you watch Australian Survivor. Um, what was the guy with the mullet's name? I oh, know he wanted a chicken parma <laughs> the whole time. All he wanted was chicken parm. The chicken parm and the nacho parm. Yes, just any, anything but, parma. I don't know. It was and uh, he finally parm. got it, and he was very happy. But it was the dude with the mullet whose name I cannot remember. You guys haven't seen Australian Survivor. Was it? It's on. so good. It was on Paramount, but it's um, gone right now. Oh, that's right. It's gone. It's well, if find. you guys are in Australia, then you should watch Australian Survivor. All right. We are almost there. I got a few more big chunks in here I want to try to break up. We are good. So when I go to put this on, I can break up uh, some of the bigger chunks. I just want to make sure nothing has uh, chunks of dry flour left in it. I'm going to make sure it all gets moistened by that butter and vanilla. And that's about the consistency you're looking for here. Just still kind of crumbly. If you grab it with your hands and mash it together, it'll like clump together a little bit better. Uh, we don't want that. We want it to be kind of powdery clumpy. Not quite yet, Dr. Detroit, but thank you. I'm a, I still have to like slice apples and do I'm things like, and stuff. Chonk, 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 chonk. I look, because I got a cookie head now. <laughs> I hate you. Cookie face. So if you're baking along, Amanda, this part of the recipe, um, when you're making the crumble, tells you to do the apples. I don't do the apples yet because I don't want them to brown. So I don't do the apples until it's time to add them to stuff. 
Um, Crystal, these are still really good. They are so good. So amazing. Uh, my mom ate like four of them in one day. I told her that was not healthy. She did not listen. Okay, Hi, so. Kevin, Kevin, they're really good. <laughs> they're really good. If you guys missed it last week, go back and watch what we made last week. Because they are amazing. If I ever sit down and add stuff to my cookbook, in the, you know, all that free time I have, it's going in the cookbook. Adele says, nah, I don't watch real TV, mainly just YouTube and streaming. The only thing I watch on live TV is MasterChef, if I remember to watch it live, that is. Well, I highly recommend Australian Survivor. It is way cooler than American Survivor. You guys have cooler competitions. It's more, more friendly, but more cutthroat, if that even makes sense. Like, people are catty on American Survivor. Like, very, like, oh, she looked at me wrong. Let's get rid of her. And they don't, you all don't play like that. I don't know if you do in real life, but on Survivor, you don't play like that. Uh, Kevin says, I'm jealous. I bet it's not sugar-free. Uh, nothing in my kitchen is sugar-free, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, lots of you guys have asked for, like, sugar-free, gluten-free. I don't know how to cook like that, and I don't know if the things are going to be good. Maybe at some point I will try something, but the problem is you have to invest in a lot of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, replacement ingredients. Like, if it's gluten-free, I would have to get a gluten-free flour. If it's sugar-free, I'd have to get, like, what do you guys use? Like, stevia, I think it is. Um, and then what if I don't like it, and then I'm stuck with all these ingredients I'm never going to use again? So I stick with what works. But I know I have looked into it a little bit for some of you guys. There's a lot of um, quick and easy conversions you can do as far as a lot of the gluten-free flours are one-to-one. -one. A lot of the uh, sugar replacements are one-to-one. -one. There was uh, There's even a powdered sugar replacement. I've, I've done a little bit of research for you guys. I just haven't actually baked with it. So, sorry. Uh, Noe Nori wants to know, what's the happy birthday thing for? It is Mooch's 15th gotcha day. He's 15. Hey, Dan, what's the baking soda say when he's sad? Mm. Looks like today I'm not quick enough for a... <laughs> no, you're you're quite slow there. Uh, what is it? I'm, I'm so depressed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's get to this, guys. So for the cake, we're going to cream together four tablespoons, half a stick of butter with half a cup of sugar until it is light and fluffy. So I try kind of hard to guess these. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, with, what was it, half a cup of sugar. Uh, Dr. Chart re recommending Swerve instead of Stevia. I don't know if I've heard of that one. I just, I don't, I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. That's the problem. And then, like, I bake something that I can't eat. And my favorite part of baking is eating. I only bake because I want snacks. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing in here? Mm -hmm. Sam says, no milk with your cookie, Dan. No response. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. Can you just say it again? I was. Uh, I was. I was in, <laughs> in your own world. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, you gotta get off camera. <laughs> if you're on camera, you gotta pay attention. You might should know better. Sam sorry. says, "No milk with your cookie, Dan." No. You I have was, a you know, iced, I was dairy free milk tea. in there. I do. I did not think of that. Growing up, I did. Oh my gosh, I didn't have the soggiest cookies. Watching Dan trying to think of a way to response there was torture. I was trying so hard, like, like smoke was starting to come out my ears like the Tin Man. I was trying. I had nothing. Hey, Dan. Sorry, yeah. I think you left. Uh, Jess T just added some cinnamon to her cereal. You could say she spiced up her life. Oh god. Like, no? <laughs> no? Uh, comedy jail. Uh, uh, no goal. Like I'm not laughing at that one. No goal. I laughed at Try it. Try again. I laughed at it. Uh-uh. I think says you need to refill your sugar tub. I do. I was trying to use it all up first. Um, actually, I think I just recently washed this out and replaced it, but I knew I had enough for this recipe, so I haven't pulled out my new sugar yet, because this doesn't actually hold the whole thing of sugar. I should probably get a bigger thing, but 
I don't have room in my cupboard for a bigger container, so I don't want to open the new sugar because I'm not going to have room. But I do have, don't you worry, I always have backup ingredients in my cupboard. I have a whole extra cupboard here, the one the Mooch is laying on, for all my extra ingredients. It's full of uh, chocolate chips and sugar and brown sugar we should and take flour. One day. Maybe one day. It's nice in there. It's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Jess, he says, still got a reaction from you, Dan, so success. All right. I like the way right. you think. No, no, I, I get it. But there's got to be a, there's got to be a bar. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the line. Can I get my side camera back, please? Thank you much. Uh, Kevin says, ex-girlfriend made me apple crisp diabetic style and was awesome, but needed more crumble. Well, that's an easy fix. So if you guys can see in here, it's not um, like crumbly and grainy anymore. It's starting to really come together. There's not much in here. It's only a half a stick of butter and what was it? Half a cup of sugar. So I do have to kind of scrape a little bit to get it back to the middle, but you can see it's getting like fluffier. This is the consistency you want for this. Until you add the flour, I don't think you can really overmix. You're fine. Once you add the flour, if you're making a bread, you don't want to mix it too much because it'll make your bread a little bit tougher. So now that this is pretty fluffy, we're going to add our egg and mix that in pretty well. Uh, Holly wants to know if we're doing anything special for Mooch. Uh, he got extra portions of Dan's sandwich today, and uh, we will definitely pull out some snacks later and make sure he gets some snacks. If you guys follow RFS Cats, last year on his Gotcha Day, we pull out all the snacks and let him choose what he wanted. So maybe we'll do that again. His favorite is those little tubes with like the creamy goo in it. That's his absolute favorite. So I'll make sure to dig one of those out for him today. You guys are hitting me hard with these jokes. Dan's not in here, so I gotta wait for, for him so I can hit him with these jokes. I can't hear you. He said something about Rizzo. I don't know. Uh, I got stuck pitting Rizzo. I had no choice. Gotcha. Rizzo, uh, when Rizzo wants pets, Rizzo will do anything in her power to be as cute yeah. as possible so you can't but, deny uh, her. Yeah, if you do, she'll bite your elbow. <laughs> hey, Dan. Yeah. Hannah used to have a great joke about baking, but she ruined it. She never should have left that pun in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Noe Nori wants to know if you know what baseball and baking a cake have in common. Uh, they, uh, they, uh, what does baseball and baking a cake have in common? They're all about the batter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did you know the baking soda packets are training their children to be police officers? They're raising agents. Hmm? Raising agents? Raising? Baking soda? Raising? Oh, okay. I get that it. One's, that one's a little, I a little get trickier. It now. Sorry, I'm new to cooking ingredients. Uh, Angela wants to know if the, the cat's... Uh, tr favorite treat is churros. I don't know if I know that brand. You have to keep your I jokes had that. salt and pepper for me. <laughs> I think one of you guys may have sent us that particular brand. Um, no, it's, it's not that brand. I will show you later what it is. If I pull it out now, all heck is going to break loose in here. So I will show you, but I don't remember. It's oh, I'm trying real hard. Right? It's red. The package is red. Delectables. I don't know the I don't think that's the brand, but I think that's the name of it. So I don't know. Uh, Adele is not following along today, but still baking Anzac biscuits? I don't know what those are. Cornflakes and Sultana biscuits and banana oatmeal muffins. I don't know what a Sultana is. I feel like it's like a banana type thing, isn't it? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so we've got nice and creamy going on here. Uh, this is sugar, butter, and egg. Now we're gonna add vanilla and sour cream.
Ah, uh, Satana is like a raisin. Okay, yes. I don't know why I thought banana. I've, I've heard the word and I knew that I like had heard of it before. I'm not a raisin fan. I don't like squishy dried up things. Uh, Ma is here. Hello, Ma. We are making cinnamon apple crumb cake. Hi, Mom. Love you. Hi, Blake. Blake, say hi to Ma. Hi, Ma. Blake, you look like when Blake emerges and has that look on his face. Look at that look. What does that look? <laughs> he comes out and just stands like this. It means he wants food. You know we have a show from 6 to 8. Well, I thought today was Friday. I thought today was Thursday. <laughs> oh, it must be nice to not know what day it is. Ah, oh, summer break. Uh uh. See, as soon as sour cream comes out, Mooch knows, like, that's what I want for my treat. I will give you some, but not right sour now. Sour cream? Yes. You like sour cream just by itself? I like sour cream just by itself. Do not judge. You sir. eat sour cream by itself? That was like 50 cents. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it's on your nose. Yay, Mooch. <laughs> Did you get it off your nose? All right, you need to get back. <laughs> uh, Chris quoting me, I don't like dried, squishy dried up things. Dan, aging is not going to be kind, friend. <laughs> mm. All right, so we are going for half a cup of sour cream. I think I used up all my half cups. I'll just keep hydrating. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, you can go in there and make what you want. You can make a sandwich, you can make, oh, you had other things. Yes, so. You can make chicken burgers, you can make, I don't know. That's all. There's frozen chicken strips. Oh, Jesse, I do not know how you are always on topic with this, but you are amazing. <laughs> Uh, Jess T with the super chat, thank you friend, says, A core belief is that apple puns make me smile. It just proves that you and Dan are awesome to the core. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Adele says, An Anzac or Anzac? How do you pronounce that? Uh, stands for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously, like, we don't have that here. Uh, Anzac biscuits are the biscuits they used to send to the soldiers in World War I because they lasted forever. Oh, okay. So, like, dry and hard. <laughs> Is that what we're saying? Oh my gosh. Aren't, aren't those the ones that are like, I don't know, I, I think I've seen them before. They're not like really crackers. They're like less crackery than crackers. Oh, that's right. You guys call cookies biscuits, huh? They're like right here. Okay, so we are going to add half a cup of sour cream measured generously because I like sour cream and it's hard to get out of the measuring cup. Look at Mooch is just licking his chops, and waiting. He knows what's up. All right, bud. Hold on, Mooch. I'm getting to you. Here you go, buddy. What a life we live. If our air fryer pops a circuit breaker, we'll be right back. <laughs> you put it in the other room, though, yeah? Yeah, but, yeah, don't go anywhere. Hopefully we're good. If, yeah. Yes, Mooch is so happy. He loves sour cream. Can I try to turn him so you guys can see? He's getting it. It's all on his nose. <laughs> yeah, but now you've given him a taste of blood. Yes. <laughs> and I, yeah, I don't know how we're going to, like, calm him down after that. I'm going to get more and more... <laughs> your chin and your nose are all white, boo. Can you put that in the fridge, please? Thank you, sir. Uh, and we need to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh my gosh, Teresa does not like sour cream. Blasphemy! It's the nectar of the gods. I'm not a fan, Teresa, of cottage cheese. We can both agree on that if you don't like sour cream, right? <laughs> I don't think not liking sour cream means you don't like... Uh -huh. It's just like it's just like uh, almond joy and mounds. Sour cream and cottage cheese just has lumps. Like sometimes you feel like lumps, sometimes <laughs> you don't, and then you have cottage cheese or sour cream, right? No, I don't like cheese either. Oh my gosh, who even are you? I don't even understand your life. How? Do you <laughs> what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Blake wants to know what you eat if you don't like cheese. I just, I don't even understand you it. That, you can use that to make your food, right? Okay. Uh, 
I already used that one. I need more bowls. More bowls. Okay, so now we're going to mix our dry ingredients. What's up, Mooch? Flour. Uh, baking soda, salt, baking powder. Okay, let's get our measurements here. A cup of flour. And now he's intently watching because there was a uh, sour cream. Uh, now Hannah wants a bowl of cheese. <laughs> you are my people. Uh, Amanda wants to know what type of pan you use to bake it in. So the recipe calls for a springform pan. I happen to have one, so that is what I use. Um, you don't have to. You could very easily just put it in um, any sort of round pan. You could probably even do it in a square pan if you have, like eight or nine inch. It would just affect the, the thickness because of the square footage, whatever. Um, I am thinking ahead on like how I'm going to store it. And I have a Tupperware, actually the Tupperware that Brittany sent. I don't know if you're still here, but you sent a Tupperware full of snacks. I use the heck out of that because it's the perfect size uh, for popping this springform pan off of the cake and I can put the cake right in there. If I put it in my round pan that's not spring form, I had to put foil over it and I hate doing that. So I put it in here, but you can do it in any similarly sized pan and it, it'll work fine. Okay, so a cup of flour. Wow, Doris. Doris eats cottage cheese with oh, spaghetti. Oh, hey, Dan. Like DSL. Oh my gosh, you guys are just like muttering in the background. Oh, it makes it so oh, hard. I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Trying to do a live show here, guys. We're all talking about internet speeds back here. Yeah, I can hear it. We're talking about live stream internet speeds. I, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about because I can hear you. Hey, Dan. I'm so sorry because I was just making sure that like with the, up with the upgraded nerdy internet that we got that what we're paying for is actually working. Okay. Should, should I stop? Do you want to hmm? make sure you're good? <laughs> hey Dan, Doris eats cottage cheese with her spaghetti. That's gross. Whoa. Well, <laughs> I knew that would get you. I mean, I, okay, I understand it because that's halfway to lasagna, right? Okay. Is, is well, that, no. At some point, that's lasagna. No, lasagna is ricotta cheese. And it's, it's cousin. It's Italian. Ricotta cheese is Italian cottage cheese, right? It's it's, <laughs> co it's, it's Italian cousin ricotta. Hey, it's a ricotta. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna say my thing. Don't eat to me. <laughs> baking soda, we're doing a quarter teaspoon. Baking powder, we're doing a half a teaspoon. And salt, we're doing a quarter teaspoon. If you guys are new here, we always mix dry ingredients separately so that you can mix them evenly and you don't end up with like a clump of salt in your actual uh, dough or batter or whatever you're making. So the dry ingredients go into a bowl separately and get whisked together so they're mixed evenly. And then you add them to the wet ingredients that you've mixed already. That's the best way to mix ingredients, like the best order to do that in, to ensure that everything mixes evenly. And I already used that whisk, but don't worry, I've got five more whisks. You think I'm exaggerating, but I am not. Hey Dan. Still, still. Uh, Dora says, that's it. We do put cottage cheese in our lasagna recipe. You're brilliant. I've never figured it oh. out until tonight why I liked it. Yeah. Melissa says, some people use cottage cheese instead of ricotta to make lasagna, which is just so wrong in my house. Yeah, no. No, that's against Italian standards. You you can't do that. Uh, Hannah does it too, though. Cottage cheese and lasagna. Oh, that's so weird. Yes, Chris, when a problem comes along, you must whisk it. Unless you're Dan and then you're wisping it. Uh, so Dan and I were talking today about laying a concrete pad in the backyard for the new shed we're going to get. And um, he told he told me he wasn't sure if he was going to have to put rebarb in it. And I said, I'm sorry, what? And he said, rebarb? And I asked him, is there a B at the end of that word? He says, yeah, you know, like rebarb. Which just makes me think of like, like the rebarb bar with like barbed wire around it for extra stability i don't know there i can make a dictionary of mispronounced dan words let me tell you uh teresa says you're reminding me of jess she always mixes the dry ingredients first then the wet ingredients maybe you're all dogs no that's just the best way to 
ensure everything gets mixed evenly. If you, like, have baked for a while, followed, like, recipes and things, that's usually the way they make you do it. And occasionally I'll have a recipe that'll tell you to do it the other way, put your dry ingredients in your mixer and then add your wet ones. The problem with that is you tend to get clumpy uh, bits of dry ingredients at the bottom that you've then got to try to mix in, but they've already clumped together. It's much better to whisk your, or to mix your wet ingredients, whisk together evenly your dry ingredients, and then add them to your wet ingredients. And now is probably about the time I should turn on the oven and start to cook myself. Ah, Jason is here. Hello. He says, we're watching from our tent in the backyard, trying to prep this kid for the outdoors, but can't miss Auntie Crystal. Oh, I'm glad you made it, guys. I will be there in two and a half weeks, and I'm really excited. So when you mix this together, it does look a little bit thicker and drier than uh, most cake recipes should be, and I kind of was concerned about that because I don't want a dry coffee cake. But you add apples to it, and apples have a lot of moisture that will soak into the cake as it cooks, so don't even worry about that. You just want to mix your dry ingredients until it's evenly mixed in there. Do not overmix it. You get a tough bread. Nobody likes tough bread. So looks like we are good here. I don't know what to do. Hey, Dan. Oh, I don't know what to do. You, you stop I, mumbling in the other room. I'm mumbling in the other room. You're mad. I'm in the other room mumbling, and Topo looks so disturbed. He's staring at he us. He doesn't like it either. He's like, hey, they're trying to do he, a show here. He's half asleep, and he's staring at me like, why can't you go in the other room and talk? He wants you to shut up. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Why'd the birthday cake go to see a doctor? Catch up. Because <laughs> it felt crummy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Darn. Is the chat the chat says I look over at the chat and it's just dad jokes. It's a dad joke bot. It's because you are so amused by them. I just never heard of them before. They've all Would I say a right? It. No. Okay, so this is done. Our crumb topping is done. We do need to chop apples, but like I said, I don't do that. Oh wait, I forgot the one thing that I add to this. So we have some real maple syrup that Jess sent to us that she made her very own self. I don't think she's here tonight. I don't know if she's camping or what she's doing, but we, um, I've been kind of playing with this. So the actual recipe in the, the glaze that goes on top has you um, add apple cider to it, which you could totally do, but I'm not gonna buy a whole thing of apple cider just to use one to two tablespoons for a glaze, not gonna do it. So the first time I made this, I'm like, well, let me try it out with a little bit of maple syrup and see how that tastes. It tastes amazing. And then the next time I made it, I added a little bit to the cake itself, which is subtle, but it, it, it helps. It adds to the flavor. The maple flavor goes really well with apples. So I just add a couple spoonfuls. I don't wanna make the cake batter too much more moist than it's supposed to be or it won't hold together so just a little bit for flavor and then we'll add it to the glaze as well okay so amanda and anybody else who's making this like i said i use the um, springform pan it wants you to butter it and then put parchment paper. I do have these handy dandy things that I got that fit in the pan. Butter it first so this will stick to the bottom because the cake batter is thick and you have to spread it and it's a thin layer so it is kind of hard to spread. But if you butter your pan first, it'll stick to that butter and it won't move around so much when you're trying to spread it. Oh, I just got a bunch of butter under my fingernail. It's okay. Is it? Yeah. Thanks, Dan. I'm so encouraging. You really are. Whee! I think the other times I've made this, I probably use the spray instead of butter. 
this time I just reverted back to butter, but you could use either spray or butter it, whatever you're gonna put down on the bottom under your parchment paper. You don't have to use parchment paper. If you spray and um, flour it, it should come up. It shouldn't stick too badly, but I have been digging on using these because they're cut to the size and they work really well and they have little handles on the side. Uh, these came from Amazon. I'm not sure if they are on our kit and I can't ask Dan because he's still having another conversation over there. Um, but these came from Amazon and they work really, really well. And they are just a tiny bit bigger than the pan, but I just mash it in around the corners and it's fine. And kind of stick the little tabs to the side. Oh my gosh, Jess, were you listening the whole time or did you just get here? Because I literally just talked about you and pulled out your syrup and now you're here. It's weird. It's really weird. Uh, Koru with the adorable Inu. Oh, she said bye-bye. Well, thanks for hanging out. Um, I don't know if you said something further up. Oh, yes. You've been up for 31 hours. Oh, my gosh. With work and a funeral. Gonna crash. Have a good night. And I hope this turns out great. Yes, I will post a picture on the group. Um, so make sure you check that out. And I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, and I hope you get a good night's sleep, friend. Jess says, I just got here. It was game night. Everyone just left. Oh, I literally just pulled out your maple syrup. So this is a recipe for uh, cinnamon apple crumb cake. And I add a little bit of your syrup to both the cake itself, and that's what I use to make the glaze instead of apple cider, because I don't have apple cider. And uh, I don't even think I said your name three times, but it worked. <laughs> Okay, so it says spread half the batter on the bottom of the pan. Half. It's way less than you think it should be. Don't over add it or you're not gonna have, you're gonna have a thick layer of bread on the bottom and you're not gonna have a whole lot going on the top. It's just gonna be like a bunch of bread and then apple, tiny bit of bread and then crumble on top. The thinnest layer you can get away with on the bottom is what you want to do here, Amanda. If you haven't spread it already, that's what's going on. The thinnest layer you can, because you're going to have apples on top of that, and you're going to have a bunch of stuff on top. As thin as you can. How are you doing? Are you hungry? Do you want some cheese sticks? No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm actually hosting a baking show right now. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, so, <laughs> no, I need neither tongs nor food nor idle chatter in the background. <laughs> you can still hear us? Everybody can hear you. Hey Dan. Yeah. Which cakes are the saddest? Karate, carry cake, karate, cake, care, karate, care, crying cake. I don't know what cakes are the saddest. Wedding cake. Because they often end up in tears. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that was from Jody. Thank you so much. That was a good one. I like that. She says, ice cream for ice cream. Says me being lactose intolerant. Boo! You know, Ben and Jerry's actually has a dairy free line now. Not a whole lot of flavor options, but they do have them. Much like uh, vegetarian options, dairy free options are expanding in the stores. So you guys can see this is. A little bit tricky to spread. It's much easier because I have the parchment paper stuck down with butter. It actually works a lot better with butter than it did with the uh, non-stick spray. So I would recommend that if you're doing this this technique for non-stickiness. But you're literally just spreading the thinnest layer you can. I think I need just a little bit more here. Uh, Chris with a super chat, shouting out for idle chatter. We love you, Dan. It's really hard for me. Like, I have to have some sort Thank of you. auditory sensory processing issue. Because if I can hear, like, too much background noise, it's, I can't, I, I can't think. Right. When I can hear chatter. We were talking about things. Uh, clearly. And stuff. And stuff. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Dan. Now Jody says, I still eat ice cream. <laughs> you know, if I became lactose intolerant, I would still eat ice cream. But if you want to feel... <coughs> <coughs> If you want to feel a little less uncomfortable after you eat ice cream, check out the, the dairy-free Ben and Jerry's. Hey, Dan, if Cinderella was a baking slave instead of a cooking slave, her name would be Mozzarella. Actually, I think it's the other way around, Hannah. It still made me laugh. I don't care. I don't get it. Am I just... Is it... I don't use mozzarella when I bake. I use it when I cook, so I think... I think it's the other way around. I don't is care, it? though. I don't care. Hannah... <laughs> you Hannah, you're confusing my brain. <laughs> and mine. Alright, we are almost there, guys. Just trying to get the edges, and then I'm going to smooth this evenly. On. Yeah? Yeah. That's why I was trying to put it off as long as I could. It's 72 outside, but it's still a little warm and stuffy. The air is off, so. What's says 77? Air's not moving. Would you like some moving air? Uh, maybe for a little bit, if it's not too noisy. Pull out your sandwich. <laughs> okay, so there's our bottom layer. I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to chop up some apples. Oh, hey, Dan, Jess T has another jail-worthy joke. I haven't read it yet. Why couldn't the teddy bear finish his birthday cake? Why couldn't the teddy bear finish his birthday cake? Blake? I think Blake got it. Blake nailed it. Blake, Blake nailed it. Blake? Because it's too stuck. Because he's too stuck. Because he's too stuck. <laughs> That's good. Blake, I've been trying to get a punchline for so long, and you can swoop in and get one right yeah. away. Blake, the guy who, uh, oh my if I'm doing a puzzle, Blake will walk up. Stand there for like 10 seconds, grab a piece, pop it in where it goes, and walk away. Leave it to Blake to walk in the room, nail a punchline, and he's done with us. You were trying to make a puzzle the other day, and it was missing three pieces. You were so sad. Four. It's missing four. You were four. like, you were, I was smart you. enough to put a post-it note in there for myself, so that the disappointment happens in the beginning and not when I finish the puzzle. But uh, that puzzle is missing four pieces. And I know why, because several of the pieces in there have cat teeth marks in them. So... Some cat absconded with my puzzle pieces. Oh, there we go. Nobody's ears, everybody. Come on. Sorry, my sound guy is like off doing his own thing. Right so. here. You didn't tell me there was gonna be like smashing. I didn't tell you I was doing a live show. Hey Dan, I'm about to smash an apple. Oh. That one juiced my face like right away. That's what you get. Is that what I get? Hey Dan, I'm doing the thing that scares you the most. I, you know, I just, I just don't understand. We were talking about this the other night. I just don't understand why. Why what? Like we ha like, w like you have to defy death. By <laughs> having some death. having some sort of like thumb knife throwing thing where you have to throw your Did thumb through Did you see how planes. hard I had to smash it on there for it to work? It's like there's ten knives and you have to like push your finger to push it through and hopefully you stop before the blades that are everywhere. <laughs> Not really as sharp as you. It, there should think be a better thing. Is. Bear with me while I peel these. Uh, I did see there were some jokes that came through that I did not read because I was doing stuff. If you guys want to retype a joke right now, we got a minute while I chop some apples. Mooch is enjoying... Mooch is just hoping there's more sour cream. Right. That's all. I get that. He loves for that stuff. He does. Whenever I walk in the front door, he's always like, What'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? <laughs> Are there nuggets? Are there nuggets? Did you remember to turn me back up? Yeah, you're back up. Don't worry. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Why didn't the duck make a cake? Well, I'm sorry, why couldn't the duck make a cake? Because he was quackers? Because he couldn't quack his eggs. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like that. Where are you going? Where are you going, Topo? Topo's awake. <laughs> oh, Megan. Topo. Dan, what's the last thing that goes through a bug's mind when it hits a windshield? 
What's I don't know what uh, like oh no it's butt. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's true. Hi Topo. What are you doing? You go back there again? Wow, you are like super ADD today. Well, I'll play with the cat. <laughs> no, I was telling you jokes. Remember, I I literally just requested everybody to tell me jokes, but I I, I need somebody to tell jokes to. I need somebody who doesn't know the punchline. The cat's trying to go behind the washer again, and he got stuck behind there. So, Amanda, who is baking along, this is the other change that I make. I don't like the apples plain, so I throw them in a bowl, and I add, like, a little bit of things to them. Brown sugar, cinnamon, like, just stuff and things, because I need them to have some flavor. So, just a, a heads up on that if you want to do that. It does add better flavor to the apples, and it helps them to, like, soften a little bit better when they cook. Are you ready for more jokes? Yeah, and I'm watching. What do we got? What made the short-tempered coach of the hockey team so frustrated when he opened his email? Uh, what's that? He had so many forwards. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who, who? That was Sam. Who the hockey joke? Interesting. Can hey, I get Dan. a hockey joke? Can you see Topo over there? Being cute. He's drinking his water. Nobody else can see him. Sorry. Uh, Hannah just took a baking class. Oh, okay. The final was a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I haven't heard that one either. <laughs> Megan watched hockey before it was cool. Okay. They were just swimming. <laughs> <laughs> you know water polo it is? It's just melted hockey. Yes, I think so. Now, Foxy Koala is here. Hello, our favorite zookeeper friend. Wait, like, we only have one. We do, so, but she's by our default. favorite. So, we have, we have a guy at work that was an intern, and he just got hired full-time, and real cool guy, real, like, quiet and mild-mannered and like chill like he's maybe like early 20s or something and uh the other day somebody called who spoke spanish and uh nobody there speaks spanish except for this guy and i'm like i walk up to him I'm like hey my favorite spanish speaking employee here and he just looked at me like what <laughs> he, he didn't get my humor no no maybe he's <laughs> allergic to ginger he might be all right Apple. Yeah, Topo is just marathoning in that water back there. Get it, Topo. He's thirsty. Mooch is just staring longingly, hoping for a bite he's of waiting. anything. He's waiting for, uh, he knows that, like, eventually sweets will come, so he'll hold out on the apple. Hey, Alexa, can cats eat apples? Oh, that was... Apple is a good source of vitamins for cats, but apple seeds are poisonous. Cats can have... Alexa, stop. Of Would you like some apple? Oh, this is why I can't make my cat's treats like Jess makes for her dogs. He is uninterested in my apple. He was offended that you would he offer really him does. apple. He really Like, you have sour cream, and you're trying to give me apple? Apple. Really? No. Like, he doesn't even want to put his head back. I'm sorry. I'll take it away. Uh, having the ALEXA is really handy to just ask her if my cats can eat things. We, yeah. we use that feature probably more than pretty it, much any other talking to her feature. It takes you six months or so to warm up to it, and maybe even a year before we really started to, like, depend on it a little bit. Yes. And and, and it's great for reminders. I can just blurt it out today. I was famished. I was done. I was like, I'm, I need to lay down for a minute. And I laid on the couch, and I'm like, I just blurted out. I'm like, hey, L-E-X-A. Take me away for 15 minutes and okay, actually it was an hour. And then and then she set the alarm and then woke me up later. I was groggy. Didn't listen to this part. Give me any sass. Oh. Um, Are so, you thinking of replacing me? So not quite yet. Um, okay. She needs a few more features. Sir. Sometimes you you are threatened a little bit because you bid for her job all the time. Sometimes I'll be like, hey, A-L-E-X-A, what's the internal temperature of pork? And you're like yelling out like- 145. Yeah, you're like yelling it out the for me. The vegetarian knows. Yeah, so, uh, but it, after like a year or so, depending on it, um, I, it's nice to just be able to blurt stuff out. And it, and it works like, it works when you want to blurt out timers or reminders and stuff on a list. Do you know what my favorite but thing about it is? When you ask it to like pull up a fact, <laughs> uh, yeah, you she's not. She know. does not have the best Google you at never all. Know what you're gonna get. Mainstream stuff, yes. 
But you know, if you want to, if you if you want to know somebody from somewhere that's kind of crazy or something like that, you the or the height of the or something of somebody, it's like not always. And she's like, the I best. don't dig that deep. What, what's your oh, favorite? My favorite thing is I can tell her, hey, remind Dan, blah 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 blah, and then she's like, okay, Crystal, I'll remind Dan, and then sure enough, when the reminder goes off, it's like, hey, Dan, and it'll remind you. Yeah. Um, but I do hate that. Like last night, I told her to set a reminder for whatever I told her to set a reminder remind Dan of whatever and I said the thing and she's like okay what should I remind you and I told her I already effing told you so then that was the reminder it yeah <laughs> yep yeah, yeah it bleeped it out in everything it did so yeah um it's great after a while it, it yeah you just kind of just yell at it if you guys have one and you don't know, you can play uh, music trivia. We do that at my mom's house Sometimes a lot. Sometimes that's fun. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but like song quiz maybe, something like that. Um, we do that a lot. And it's fun to try to, you get, you know, five points for guessing the song, five more points if you can guess the artist. So that's fun. Uh, doesn't dig very deep. Like you run out of questions and it wants you to buy more, but you can play it for a while. <laughs> Justy says, I love watching videos of Alexa not understanding people. A Scottish lady trying to get it to play a song and called Alexa a cow. Oh yeah, I, I get pissed when she when she didn't understand what I wanted the reminder for. I'll just yell at her and start cursing her. But you know what? There was a reminder and it remi it was to start the dishwasher because I, I started at night so it goes while I sleep so I don't have to hear it. Um, so I needed to set the timer for that but I needed to do it later. I am very polite. Not me. I curse it. I, but look, am I really very polite to anybody else? But I tell it, I, I curse I'm, you out. I am polite to it. I tell it please and thank you. You do. I Sometimes am nice. she says you're welcome. I, well, you know, when you're gone, we talk. We talk. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah's dad likes to swear at the Alexa. <laughs> she shuts up real quick. Yeah, with yeah, Crystal, she... too. That's okay. When you leave the room, I'm like, it's okay. It is a little weird to me that she knows, like, my voice. Like, I can say remind Dan, and she'll say, okay, Crystal. I'm like, whoa, I didn't tell you who I am. But I guess at some point I did. Yeah, we talked to it like a couple years ago. It's like, hey, remember it bugged and bugged and bugged us yeah, every like, day? Yeah, like, what should I call you? Every day. It's like, by the way, would you like to set up voice recognition? And then finally after a while, we're like, fine. And then it made us like, it made us like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I don't think we had to do and that. And then it knew who we were. And then it knew who we were. <laughs> uh, we're getting Blake emojis in the chat. You must be making an appearance. He doesn't care. Huh? Chat's filling up with Blake emojis. Um, hello. Oh, he like wave or something. Can you pretend to look happy? I'm washing dishes. You can't smile while you're washing dishes. Like everyone. <laughs> the least enthusiastic member of our family. But I know he loves me because he buys me presents. He was in the middle of playing Uno on the iPhone with his friends. <laughs> was he? Were, yeah. Yeah. When we were chattering back there. Gotcha. We were yapping about what you're doing tonight. And it was Uno. And I looked over and it was Uno for sure. So Blake was gone for like uh, a month and a half. He went and stayed for a couple weeks down uh, like Anaheim area with some friends. And at one point he went shopping and he saw a little pillow that said crazy plant lady and he bought it for me. And that's how I know he loves me. My love language is gifts and acts of service. Okay, apples are chopped, man. Whoa. Okay, so to this I am going to add uh, you'd think growing up in front of the camera, he'd be a little more excited. Uh, I feel like if you watch the old videos, he was more enthusiastic when he was younger, and he would kind of like turn it on. Now he's just like, yeah, no, I'm uninterested in you guys. I disagree. Um, if we're doing anything, he will. Right now, I think he's messing with us partly, and and he don't care. Right. Um, but growing up with the camera, he's not phased by it, no. so you'll it, never he's get... He's not shy. You he's don't just... get on-camera Blake. You get real Blake all yes. the time. Yeah, like, that's Blake, on or off because, camera. Because, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he comes out and has good conversations. Yes. Um, but oh, if I were to turn a camera on for the vlog and stuff, he wouldn't just mope around and leave. He knows. Right. Like, he would turn it yeah, on. Yeah, if you ask him questions and but, stuff. Yeah, he just but... came out to get some dinner on a Friday night. Right. <laughs> it's not trying to be on TV. 
But yeah, I just he just grew up with it, so he knows the difference. So it's not anything new. All right, so I just kind of coated everything. I'm gonna do a little bit more brown sugar. Hey Dan, ask Gail EXA to make you a sandwich, but I don't want a sandwich. <laughs> but what's she gonna say to you if you ask her? Oh, well, okay. one might appear. Thin layer of the batter. <laughs> Gifts and acts of service. I thought your love language was long haired bass players. Uh, dreadlocked bass players, actually. Okay, so then we're just gonna sprinkle these in an even layer here. Do you want some apples? Thanks. I flung one behind the mixer if you want to rescue that. Very good. Um, if you want to go a step further, you could also cook these in a pan with a little bit of butter. That'll soften them up a little bit. But even just adding this to it helps to make them a little less boring and crunchy once the finished product comes out of the oven. How long does it cook for? 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, shh. And then, and then we'd have to decorate it? Uh, a glaze goes on the top. All right. <laughs> or what, you got big plans? No, apparently there's neither does anybody else because we're rocking it for at least you an hour. You can leave whenever you want. You and everybody else. But I'll be here making cake. I like my cake in the uh, coffee cake, crumb cake variety more so than a uh, frosted cake. So just kind of spread that on there. And then you want to add about a cup of your crumble topping on top of this. That's got butter in it. That's going to melt. It's going to soften everything up. It's going to be amazing. Hannah says, this already looks so good. I wish my kitchen wasn't a mess and my ankle wasn't messed up. I want this. Don't worry, friend. It will remain on my Pinterest page and you can go make it anytime when your ankle is better and your kitchen is better. Are you, you're not in new house yet, huh? You're still in apartment. But it will be up there and I highly recommend you make this. I bet your dad would even like it. So we're going to do about a cup of this and just kind of sprinkle it, try to break up any big chunks that are there. to done. We've got layers upon layers coming. I like it when a coffee cake has lots of different ingredients and layers that kind of meld together and play on each other. I don't want just a boring, like a pound cake or something. I want flavors and fruits and spices and deliciousness. So you just want to make sure that's kind of a flat, even layer in here. And then we're going to spread the rest of our batter on top of it. Hey, Dan, what do you call an empty can of cheese Whiz? Uh, I, I don't know. Cheese Whiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Beer and Bug can't wait to see the archaeological exploration of your Jeep. <laughs> oh, my Jeep is... Deep. Mine? Mm -hmm. Mine's clean. The Jeep's clean. What about the door with all the oh, receipts? If, like, just in that little panel? That's it. But the rest of my car is clean, right? Mostly. Yeah. Like, there's, my car's not dirty. It's, like, empty. There's nothing in it. We were just in it the other day live. Yeah, well, next time he's in it, you guys, ask him to show you inside the door. Mm, fair enough. That's fine. So you want to kind of spread this out as you're putting it in here to minimize how much you actually have to spread it. Because again, this is another thin layer and then you're spreading it on top of apples and crumb. So try to spread it out as much as you can as you're putting it in. 
It'll make your life easier. I try to at least get even coverage in the middle so that I can spread outward from there. Going so far off the edge. <laughs> of your virtual wine. So if you just smush and spread, it's going to pull everything up. So you want to just kind of very gently swirl, I guess, kind of a little motion like this so that you can spread it. You don't want to mix that apple and crumble layer into this top layer because you're going to get crumble on top as well. But you can see this layer is just as thin. It's a, a bread, a cake, so it is going to rise. So it's not going to be as thin as it looks at the moment. It's a little tricky. It does start to grab onto that layer below it. You're covering up all the good parts. Because it, it's going to be on the inside. Would definitely be a lot easier if there were more cake to it but you'll see when it finishes and it's cooked it is the perfect ratio of cake to fruit to crumble it's really good trust me doris wants to know what makes something a bread a bread cake not a joke, I just don't know the difference. What is something that makes it a bread cake? I think cakes are sweet. And I think breads maybe not so much. I don't know. Is, is Lily here? Lily, can, can you help? <laughs> I like that you have to clarify. Not a joke. <laughs> this is a legit question. But in my mind, I would if you asked me if I wanted some bread, like even if you said apple bread, I would expect it to be less sweet. And a cake, I would expect, like, this has the crumble and, and stuff going on and the brown sugar added to the apples. I would expect it to be more sweet. Does anybody have a better explanation than that? All right, so you can see some of it kind of peeking through. Don't sweat it. The cake will rise. It'll fill all that in. No big deal. So I thought I heard you call it that. That's why I was lost. Yeah, it, this is a, a crumb cake. But bread rises, cake rises, like same sort of thing. Uh, Amanda made one layer in an 8 by 8 square pan. Um, says her cake was much less runny than mine. I did add a little bit of the maple syrup. I don't know if you added that. Uh, just as maple syrup. Trademark. Trademark, yes, but you can use any maple syrup, although I do not recommend that sugar water. Use pure maple syrup. So then you just crumble this on top, and I'm sure it'll still be good. If you did one layer, where did you put the apples just on top, like the layer of cake and then the apples? It is really hard to spread that layer. It, it might have looked on camera like it was runny. It's not, it's a thick, like I'm not pouring it. I had to like scoop it. But, you know, to be fair, I've made this a few times, so I've got a little more feeling for what to do and how I want it to be. So if you like how this tastes, play with it. Like, see what works for you. and You'll see, like, how much it rises and how much uh, you can do those layers. And doing a square pan, I don't know what the difference in area is between a square 8-inch pan and a round 8-inch pan. That might make a difference, too, and not allow you to have enough to make a second layer. I don't know. I did a layer of cake, then apples, then cake. Wait, you said you did one layer. I'm so confused. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. I'm excited. This looks good. Uh, Uncle Yukon doing the research. Shape and ingredients. Bread is made in many shapes, but the basic, basic ingredients remain flour and water with a 
addition of yeast or any other leavening agent. Cake contains, apart from flour and water, sugar, eggs, butter, cream, flavors, etc. Cakes are also made in different shapes. Well, to be fair, bread's made in different shapes, too, because you can make a round bread or a square bread. You could make a triangle bread if you wanted to. But thank you for doing the research and coming up with facts. Oh, you thought I was going to add a second layer of apples. No, just one layer of apples. The, the crumb topping gets a layer on top of the apples and then a layer on top of the whole thing. That's what gets two layers and two layers of cake. Just one layer of apples in the middle. I'm glad you're baking along. You're the one who, who started this whole like posting the recipe so people could bake along thing. So it always makes me happy when you bake along. All right, we are ready for the oven. Precious is not pretty close to falling in the hole of the <laughs> Yeah. He's not very spatially aware. Okay, so this goes in 35 to 40 minutes. It's been a few weeks since I made it, so I don't remember if I do the full 40. We're going to start with 35 because I screwed up and set my timer too long for my pistachio muffins I made last weekend, and I burned them. Still ate them all week when I burned them. Oh, stop. Uh, 35. Why are you trying to show off my burned muffs? They're good. But they are, we made them on the show before. We made them for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And we made them greener. But yeah, I, uh, I did overcook them just a little bit. They're a little brown there. Some of them tasted a little burned. I was eating one today at work. My mom comes up, she's all, Ew, your muffins burn. <laughs> they can't all be perfect. I also found this. Um, finally, oh, was geez. on clearance. I've been look. I've been looking at. I've been eyeing that for a few months. I saw your receipt. It wasn't on clearance. It was ninety nine cents. It no, was, it was a dollar forty nine. Oh, it had a ninety nine cents. Yeah, Walgreens. Did you put in your oh, phone number? Did you put in your phone number? I didn't. That's why I did it because of, there was number. a rude lady, and then she forgot her ID, and then she went to the car to get it, and they run me up, and then she just shoved her way in front of me. Well, and you'll be they, happy to know you didn't put in your phone number, so you paid a dollar forty nine. Oh. I wasn't, like, snooping. I was looking at the receipt to see if there's anything I can get a rebate on, and there was not. Right, right. No, that's what we, um, we, we pile the receipts here because of that app you have. Yes. Uh, strawberry and dark shoot. chocolate and wafers. I want no part of this, but um, you're welcome to try it. Holly text messaged me to tell me specifically that there's blueberry ones at the Walmart. Ooh. I didn't see any at the West Side Walmart, but now I'm interested in that. Have, have, you, have any of you tried this before? I don't like Kit Kat, so I want no part of this. I actually need to run to the restroom. Okay. So, so Kit Kat you duos. Take over for a moment. Uh, this one is a strawberry and dark chocolate, like Crystal said. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's kind of melty because I got it and then like I had to drive home. So Crystal should sh check the receipts in the door of Dan's car for rebates. <laughs> Shut up. It's not even that bad in there. It's mostly just to like when they bring you the stuff to your car. I saw a cattail. Oh, uh, like back over here? Oh, yeah. Let's see. It might be Topo. Wait. Yep. That's Topo. Hi, Topo. Alright, so let's try this. I don't know if any of you have had this before. It's very pink on the inside. <sighs> I will say the Kit Kats are always pretty and fun. I've had the mint duos, mocha duos. I had the mint ones here because Melissa, who just commented, thank you, Melissa, uh, sent me a ton of them. So I think I still have one or two left. I still have like one or two left of the mint ones. What's up, Topo? Just same for you. But we can probably feed some cats some snacks soon. Mm, it's got that fake strawberry smell that I love so much. Oh, it's so good. Oh, everybody with the Topo emojis. Hey, Topo. Here, I can get a... You know some snacks in a minute, Topo? We'll get you some snacks. Um, this is really, really good, by the way. I'm not a big wafer fan. Well, actually, I am a wafer fan. Or, like, yeah, I am. Mm, these are all good. I really like this. And then you're going to sit here and listen to me crunch on it for a little bit. 
We saw the strawberry and blueberry muffin kite at Walmart. Yes, I was just notified about that today. So I'll be on the lookout for those. But these are like five out of five. These are good. They're really good. But I'll find the other ones. Where are you going, Topo? Come here. Come back over here. Where are you going? I'm literally eating strawberries every meal right now. Relieve has been a godsend for my angle. Oh, it should be called Relieve, right? I'm gonna eat more of these. They're really good. They are really good. Yum. Hey, come back, Topo. Topo, come back here. Mm, crazy cat. Mooch is just chilling here. Doesn't want none. This doesn't really register as food to him. They don't get into, like, things. Like, they don't get into, like, chocolate or nothing. But, yesterday I was making a sandwich and I took out two pieces of bread and then I was trying to watch the last... Well, I was trying to watch Overtime of Hockey. I took out two pieces of bread and I, like, walked over to, like, watch Overtime of Hockey. Maybe it was, like, before last. And then Mooch, like, ate my bread. It was his bread. I was like, dang... Mm, don't forget the launches tomorrow. I will see y'all watch some launches tomorrow. High five, Dano. Thank you. Uh, I finally found the chocolate payday, but I haven't tried it yet, Shannon. They're very good. They instantly became one of my favorite candies. They're so salty and chocolatey. It's like my favorite of both worlds. I invented this candy when I was like, like in my early 20s. And it was called UFOs, and it was a peanut M&M and a Lifesaver gummy, which is the best of gummies. And you put the Lifesaver gummy around the peanut M&M, and those are called UFOs. And I would make them before the movies, and I'd sit there and I'd build my UFOs. You lay out all the gummies, and you'd lay out all the peanut M&Ms. Then you sat there and you built them. You constructed them. Then you made the colors. You put the green ones with the red rings and stuff like that. Then you made all the UFOs. And then you put them in a Ziploc bag, and then you ask someone like Crystal to like smuggle them in her purse, and then you'd have UFO snacks. Those are the best. So chocolate and salty and stuff like that, especially with gummies. That's that's the best. That's the best ever. Is that your favorite? Ever? Yeah. Hi. Hi. So good. Is it? Oh, so good. You weren't a fan of one of them. You left it there forever. I ended up throwing it away. So I'm glad you like this one. It's so good. Crystal, everybody. Hi, it's me. I'm back. I'm going to clean up some of this because the cats need some snacks and I need clear space for them because you know they don't respect counter boundaries. All right. Uh, I said our gummies are alive. I love them, Hannah. I do have to keep out the powdered sugar because that's going to go on the glaze along with the maple syrup. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you make a mess? I may not have swept the floor. <laughs> it's okay. You changed my tire today. And put up a fan yesterday. You, did you did you talk about that? No, because I wasn't allowed to talk about it. You've done yesterday. nothing but talk about it since you did it. But I wasn't allowed to talk about it past yesterday. <laughs> but you did. So that's why I'm confused as to why you haven't talked about it yet. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This, this Kit Kat's amazing. So good. Okay, messes are mostly cleaned up for this. Okay, so what's the next on the agenda here for a little bit? We're gonna do cat snacks? Yes, we will make the glaze once it's come out and cooled a little bit. So we've got nothing but free time for about 27 minutes plus cool time. Wolfie, I should be up tomorrow to watch that uh to watch that launch, thank you. So Okay, let me just fill this up with water so it doesn't get all dry and crusty. Oh, Hannah, 
congratulations, 17 days sober from alcohol and THC. Good job, that is not an easy feat, friend, and I am proud of you. Good job, Hannah. I don't know how long you were unsober, but it does not matter. Making the choice and uh, choosing to not partake is, is a difficult thing to do. Uh, Jody wants to know, Dan. Yeah. Why didn't the cake make it on time to the party? Hold on, I'm coming. Why didn't the cake make it to the party? What? It didn't make it on time to the party. Why didn't it make it on time to the party? Because it was chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It was chocolate. Um, you know, I'm the kind of person that when I um, spell things, I sound them out like the way that they're spelled. So every time I to type chocolate in my head, it's chocolate. So I remember like there's an e at the end what I do with my head. Uh, Aaron is here. Hello. Thank you for joining us, friend. Our uh, apple cinnamon coffee cake is in the oven. It is Booch's gotcha day, hence the happy birthday is no longer over his head. So we are going to uh, give him some snacks in a minute. Sharon wants to know if I've thought more on starting later on baking. I would love to. The problem is the majority of people who watch us are East Coast, or at least like Central Time. So by the time I start at 6, our time, it's 9 o'clock their time, so you guys are rocking at uh, 9, no, 10.42 right now Maybe. on your East Coast. I, I would love for everybody in the chat, if you could please, what time is it? Just put the time in the chat, a.m. p.m. tomorrow, today. Let yes. me know. Uh, yeah, if you're if you're not American, what what day is it? Yeah. <laughs> day and time. Know. Let us know. Oh, I do have it all ready to go for cats. What do you get when eating toast in bed? Oh, punched by Crystal. Absolutely, don't eat oh. toast in my bed. Uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it that from now on. Uh, Hannah says she hasn't been unsober for roughly five years. Well, congratulations. So seven nine, okay. seven ten, seven nine. It's back and forth, back and forth. Eight ten, back yeah, and forth. Lots of you guys are rocking. Uh, eight nine ten o'clock. You know, well, a lot earlier. End, end of the hour. A lot earlier on than more earlier than I thought. It's about tied right now. Uh, Linda is working on uh, Saturday at 3.42 a.m. Oh, oh, my gosh. Thank you for staying up late for us. Are you a night person anyway, or are you really struggling right now? I would love it. If, if, if I could just shift and just be up all night instead of all day, I would be much happier. Amanda, I misread this. I'm going to post it and show you guys, or approve the post and show you guys. Uh, she made slash crocheted a baby blanket and headband to match. I read husband to match, and I'm like, you replaced Chris? You crocheted a Chris? Um, I'm super proud of how they both turned out. Let me approve this and uh, click on it, and I will show you guys what she's got going on. Oh, you did a good job, friend. It looks really good. You guys Ooh. can see uh, better it pictures. It looks like a doily. You doiled it. Oh, oh, oh doily rules. You. you did really well. I tried crocheting for a while, and I could not get the stitches even, and that's frustrating. And I couldn't get any better at it, so I gave up on it. But that looks amazing. I love the little, like, scallopy things at the end. You did great. I am proud of you, and I hope you are proud of you. So, uh, Cynthia says it's 10.42 a.m. in Beijing. Oh, you're working on tomorrow nice. morning? 12.13 uh, p.m. for Adele. So it's all over the place. But yes, I mean, it was absolutely. pretty tight between back east and now. But still, it's almost 11 o'clock at night on a Friday night. Like, yes. Yeah, you know. it, it's getting pretty late. If we started at midnight, <laughs> like I would love to, or even like at 9 p.m., it would be midnight for people. We'd have way fewer people joining us, and that would make me sad. Uh, Linda says both, night person and struggling. I get it. 3.42 is pretty freaking late, even if you are a night person. <laughs> are you playing? Okay. Mooch. Hey. It's your birthday. You want some snacks? Much. I think if you got the snacks, you'd be more inclined to move. You want a cookie? You want a cookie? No, I just want sour cream and cream cheese.
Okay, so I talked about what Mooch's favorite snack is. It is Delectables Squeeze Ups. We get them um, sometimes at Walmart, but a lot of times I just have to buy a box on Amazon because they're hard to find in person. Which way am I going? This way. Yeah, these are Mooch's absolute favorite. We've got some uh, Tesco Tasty Treat Pocket Pillows, which might be my favorite saying ever, with chicken. Those are from Linda. Thank you so much. Helen sent us some greenies. They're back and forth on these. Sometimes they like them and sometimes they don't. Uh, same goes for these Temptation Meaty Bites. These are actually still soft, so they should be good. These are from Chris, Amanda, and AJ. But first, the birthday boy. Oh, tell that to Topo down there. <laughs> Would you like me to distribute something else while they're doing that? Could you please? Okay. Uh, let's try some of the ones from Amanda, Chris, and AJ. Hi, buddy. This one's for you. You get the whole thing. Uh, Alexis with the Super Chat, thank you so much for the support, friend. Glad you made it tonight. Pretty tired and sore today. Had dental work done yesterday. Ended up with three root canals. Five large core fillings and six regular fillings. It really sucked. Ouch, Ouch friend. Ouch. I do not envy you at all. Um, please, friends, remember to floss and brush. Happy Friday. Happy <laughs> Friday. Hope you get to relax all weekend and uh, forget about so. the pain. Well, from now on, or from now on, for a little while, enjoy cats. Hey, what are you doing? No, oh, he wants some of this. <laughs> oh, get your butt off camera. Bro, mm -hmm. bro. No, Topo. Uh, Sharon says it's true there would be less live watching, but it comes down to what would be better for you. I love the chatting, but if it's easier for you, I wouldn't mind, mind watching the next day. Uh, we like interacting with you guys. I like having an audience here. That's that's why we do this. I could do, we tried for a little while recording like um, pre-made videos. The ones from Linda? Yes, they like pocket pillows. Um, I much more enjoy talking to you guys. So yeah, even though it might be hot, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this going. I may do like I did tonight and just kind of drag it out before I have to turn the oven on. Um, and we may come up with more uh, no-bake or air fryer treats to make it a little bit more comfortable for us. But yeah, I, I don't think uh, things would do as well if we were later. We, would, we wouldn't have so many of you showing up. Hi. Hello. What do you need? I can't hear you. <laughs> Topo has no shame. We he does not. Of, we have lots I'm of I'm surprised here. he ran back off. Because uh, usually, you saw, he just shoves his face in here and, and shares. You have mochi down in the bottom of the door. You need a Mootube? Well, Mootube. Oh my gosh. Dan, add Mootubes to the list. Adding Mootubes to the list. <laughs> Thanks. I'll get more Blake. The Moo Tube scissors are right there. That's it. I think it's empty, bud. That's it. You got it all. Mooch ate all of his Moo Tube. Can we get yogurt and granola and Oh, yeah, we totally can. Don't, let's remind me about that later, Blake, but I want some of that as well. Yes. Oh, we do have fruit yogurt in the fridge right now. You can have fruit and, to that. That would be good. And you can have some fruit. Blake and Crystal got some honey That's bunches great. of oats or something. No, I'm out of honey bunches of oats. Let's talk, when we'll, we'll we're done we'll reminding yeah. you, we'll talk about it. Come on, Topo. All right, Topo. You gonna catch this one, Topo? All right, watch Topo. Uh, Sharon, point now, there's over 80 people watching, but only, only 47 likes. Come on, people. Hit the like button. Yes, please, if you guys could. If you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up. Oh, now Mooch is going a little bit crazy. Who said that? Who said that? Sharon. Sharon, what if some people don't have thumbs? <laughs> uh, Uncle Yukon's suggesting uh, pawing up. He, he pawed up right away. Uh, oh. These ones are from Helen. I don't think Helen's here. I don't think I've seen her. <laughs> I threw a snack at, at at Rizzo, and I think the the toy swept it down the heater vent. Oh. <laughs> Precious is no, over it's, here. It's there. It's there. Just... Let's see if I can get Precious in here. Like maybe there's... Okay, let's try. Mooch, do you want to try one of these? Yes, I do. <laughs> it was in your mouth before you even figured out what it was. Those ones are a little crunchy, huh? Uh, Hannah says, I'm too big of a chicken to start a big project. Friend, do not be afraid. You know, I, I watch a lot of, as I'm sure we all do, short form content. It pops up on Instagram and Facebook and then you start scrolling through and then you see stuff you would never see otherwise. I saw this girl yesterday. She had, ah, oh, you got me good. That was my finger, bro. It's your birthday, so I won't be too mad at you. 
Um, she had a. She was like weaving fabric. And I watched her for a while, and I started deep diving. This girl was 13 years old, and at one point she did a, like, uh, the glow up, like, where were you five years ago? And she posted a picture of her five years previous uh, crocheting at eight years old. And by 13, she had just turned 13, was weaving her own fabric and then turning that fabric into clothing, entering it in weaving contests and winning first place. So do not be afraid. To be fair, like she was homeschooled and her parents encouraged all kinds of crafty things. So she had all the time in the world to do these sort of things. But don't be afraid, try things. Ow. Look, Dan tried painting. Dan's in his forties and he tried painting and he is successful at it. Do not be afraid. I don't know if I'd call it successful, but I finished the picture. Yeah, get it, boy. Get it. Uh, Gippy is intently watching the cats. Hey, Topes. You catch it? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you like these today. Can I have pillow pockets? Whoa, 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 Dan. Whoa, what's that? It's... <laughs> That's a talkie. <laughs> Almost. This is too much. You can't just leave a pile of 50 of them on the counter for Mooch. That's way too many. Did you give Kitty some? Yes. What about who gets the... Who gets the... Stand. Dan. Dan gets it. All right, Toby, ready to catch again? Popo. Nice. Right in your did, mouth. Did you catch it as well? Yeah. Can you get it? Is he on camera? <laughs> He's a leaper. If you guys don't already follow, if you have an Instagram account, go follow RFS Cats. Every single day, I post a picture of the cats doing all kinds of stuff and things. Uh, mostly laying, because that's what cats do. Uh, Amanda says, one minute left on my cake. How do I test it? Uh, do the tried and true, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Toothpick, knife, whatever, like, sticky thing you can stick in it. Um, it will be a little bit moister in the middle because it's got the the apple layer and stuff. But just just check for like wet dough if wet dough comes out. Uh, Holly wants to know where Precious right is. Right here, but he's not getting the he's not getting the messages. Like I gave him some snacks. He's right there. Well, he's sitting in the house. Come here, bud. I was trying to click the can because the cat's know the can. You have to whistle. He knows the whistle. I can't whistle. Come here, my buddy. Hi. Did you get him to come in here? I did. I just whistled one time and he came. Hey, do you want some snacks? Snacks? No, not that snack. Do you want temptations? He says, Where's my chicken and waffles? No, we don't have chicken and waffles. No. I can't find them anymore. Aww. I can't I have been looking for a long time. I can't find the chicken and waffles. Sometimes I order them online at Walmart, but Walmart's been really out of stock on cat things. Watch out for the vent. You gonna stand up? No. You got my hand though. At work you would stand up. You've lost that feature since you've become so domesticated. Hi, my buddy. Hi. What are you doing? You want more snacks? Sam says, I have one cat trying to knock down the TV and the other trying to get dinner that just finished being made. OMG. Gremlins. Happy gotcha day to okay. Mooch from Brittany. Precious looks like he's wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> He is still a little bit jumpy. He's definitely settling in, but he's a little jumpy when, like, there's too much going on. Yeah. But if you leave him unattended and nobody's paying attention to him, he goes nuts for toys. Yeah. Hi. He's always playing with the toys. Oh, by the way, so today he was looking underneath the stove, right? And I was like, oh, I'll get your toy. And I looked under there, and there's, like, two of those squiggly things. <laughs> the and, little springs. And then you know the ones that look like dust ball toys? Yeah. There must be six or seven in there. <laughs> so. He brings his toys in here a lot, and then he ends up in the laundry room, and I gotta throw them out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Go, bud. He doesn't really like to eat them off the floor as he, much. He's, um, uh, Rizzo's like, where's my toy, why isn't my toy spinning? <laughs> Oh, are you being neglected on your birthday? I yeah, I've been giving him snacks. Uh, Hannah says he was looking for the tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amanda says she's got two more minutes. I still have eleven and a half. That's not bad. The one bad thing about Precious is he just molts. Just oh, I know. Fur comes everywhere. off everywhere. Everywhere. Clumps in your hands. Come on, move by Oh, it's this guy. Sit. 
Uh, Angela says, RFS Cats, my number one favorite Instagram page. Thank you so much. You're always liking and commenting. Uh, first thing I open when I log on early morning so I can see the post that came in while I was sleeping. Yes, uh, I usually post around midnight. It's kind of the last thing I do before bed. Here, there you go. Also, you know, we still have all those costumes. Oh, we do. Angela sent us costumes. Here's the problem. Moose is not having it. Grumpy old man. Topo is probably the only cat we can get into one right now. We, we should do a photo shoot Maybe with him. Precious one day, but I wouldn't... When no. I say one day, I mean like two, three years down the line. Yeah, you can't but, make Precious do anything. He does not want to be picked up or like nudged in any direction for, at for all. Now. But, he, but when he turns off, he turns into... Uh, cuddly orange cat on his back. Absolutely, it, but the minute you try so, to like put something on him, he would not so, have it. So we need to get a little bit of that out of him still by just petting him and stuff like that, <laughs> but it'll happen. Adele. Adele says, my stepdaughter just got excited over you having four cats. When I told her there's actually five, she goes, oh my god, that's too many cats. Adele, there's six. <laughs> we brought a precious home from my work. There, there's, there's now six. Kitty's in the bedroom. You don't see her often when she comes out. She's on the couch. And like has to be in her safe spot, but yeah, there's 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 six. We had six before. We had Mr. Tails. If you look back on the RFS Cats page, you'll see our other big orange fluffy cat, Mr. Tails, who passed away last April. Um, and we were missing an orange cat. And come on, how, like come on, L look at him. He's so domesticated. This cat lived his whole life in a parking lot and inside my office. Like during the day we'd let him in and he'd go climb on a chair and sleep all day and then sometimes be on my desk, which you could also see on the RFS Cats page. But like, it got to the point where I was just like, I, I can't just leave him outside. Like he, he's cuddly and happy and look how clean he is now. <laughs> She's like six and pretends to faint. It's honestly really not that bad. Six dogs would be insane because dogs are like needy and jumpy and big. Cats are little. Kitty spends most of her time in the bedroom. She does come out now every day at some point. She comes out and lays on the back of the couch usually. Sometimes on the arm of the couch or next to us on the couch. Um, Kumiko just wants to be left alone. She likes to go outside or uh, like go lay on, Blake, lay on Blake's bed. Um, they're, all, they're all really chill. Precious is always on the couch with us in the evenings when we're, we're laying there or sitting there watching TV and stuff. They all kind of just do their own thing, so... It's not too bad to have six. A lot of litter box cleaning, a lot of feeding. A lot of vacuuming. A lot of vacuuming now that we have another long-haired cat. Uh, gotta have all the colors. Yes, Uncle Yukon says, what's a cat family without an orange cat? It was really missing an orange cat. Like, we need that that brightness. I love the way he photographs. And then, like, you turn up that warmth a little bit, and that, that orange turns really, like, red. Oh, I just love orange cats. Uh, Uncle Yukon used to have 11 Malamutes, only one now. That's a lot of dogs. Adele says, I'd much rather six cats over three huskies. I don't know how Jess does it. Yeah, they have so much energy. Uh, Doris wants to know if Topol is the youngest. He is. He is the baby of the family. Precious is the newest, but he is six-ish? Probably, like, somewhere between Rizzo and Kitty is what we're estimating. We're not really sure when he was born. Um, but yes, Topo is the baby of the family, and he will let you know. Eleven dogs in the house. Oh, I can't imagine. I I like dogs like I like kids when they're somebody else's. When they can go home at the end of the night. I will visit with your dog. I will pet your dog. If I come to your house and you have a dog, I will love on your dog. I do not want your dog to jump on me or slobber on me. Uh, I taught my mom's dog how to... Like, he knows how to sit, but when I tell him sit, he knows that means you turn around and face away from me and sit between my legs and I will pet you. I cannot handle the, the dog slobber and the, like, when they go drink water and then they turn and come over to you and the water's just all blah, 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 everywhere. Oh, it's so gross. I can't deal with it. So. Topo has kitty spaz actions. It's cute. The, yeah, he's frantic. This oh, is the, did, did he lose something? This is the dishwasher? part where he counts every one that didn't get consumed. And for the rest of the night, he'll go around and find the ones, like, one slid under there. And he'll work on that for a while. He'll go over to see the which one fell under the stove. Oh, and all the dust. One went over by the couch. But, yeah, remember, oftentimes we'll see him squeeze between something. Yes, he'll be digging, trying to figure out, yeah. like, what he'll is come he back doing? to that later. He'll come, he'll come back and he'll find it. He's a scavenger for sure. Amanda has turned off the oven and won't be baking again. Like, ever? Ever, ever? <laughs> What uh, Brittany says, my parents had 26 cats at once because three cats had a litter at the same time. Oh my gosh. The most I had growing up 
was 14. We had nine cats. They were all outside. Some could come in sometimes, but, like, they weren't allowed to sleep in the house at night. My dad was not having it, which is really funny because, like, after we all moved out, my dad became crazy cat guy and had, like, three cats that lived in the house all the time and loved his cats. Um, but, yeah, we had nine and one had five kittens. So then we had 14. We uh, rehomed four of the kittens. One of them stayed with us. I was 10 years old when that happened. I was... 29 when that cat finally died. That cat was 19 years old and finally one day just laid down in the backyard and she was done. But that was my cat. I couldn't take her with us when we moved out. Uh, it just wasn't feasible and she was an outside cat and that's where she lived and she liked to be outside so it wasn't doable but that was my kitty from when I was 10 until like 16, 17. She would come to the window. She ripped a hole in my screen because my dad wouldn't let the cats in the house. She ripped a hole in my screen and I would hear her meowing outside my bedroom window and I'd open the window and she'd hop through the hole in the screen and come like I'd hide her in my bedroom. Uh, Brittany, I'm with you. I want all the cats as well. Dan actually told me, so Blake's mom at their house found three kittens and took them in and they're taking care of them. And I asked him like, what are you gonna do with them? He says, I don't know. We might keep one, but probably not all three. And I told Dan I wanted to see the kittens, so I went and picked Blake up over there the other day to ask him if I could see the kittens. And I was talking to Dan about it. He's like, D tell him. Tell him you want to go see the kittens. And I said, but I might fill my pockets with kittens. He says, that's okay. You can have a kitten. We have six cats, and Dan told me I could have a kitten. <laughs> Apparently there is no limit in this house. Adele has a 12-year-old Labradoodle. He's more than happy to just lay on his bed and sleep. The thought of having Kira and Eleanor is terrifying. Yeah, Topo has a lot of energy. You guys see him. He leaps around. Um, he does hot laps through the house, and he's heavy, and our house is raised up off the ground, so you can hear him like thump, 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 through the house. Sometimes it sounds like a horse galloping through the house. And then we brought Precious home, and Precious is actually, he's fluffy, but he's also bigger and heavier than Topo. So they're like on par with each other and they chase each other around. They don't actually play like with each other yet. They bat at each other if they get too close, but that's how they play. That's how they play with us, it's, it's smacking. But they will leap out, like they play hide and seek. One of them will hide behind something knowing the other one's coming and then the other one comes and they'll leap out and then they go chasing each other through the house and it's just through the whole house, it's just thump, 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 one end to the other, and they turn around and go the other way. Lately, it's been this jump here. It's been, it's been thump, thump, that noise. That noise, that yes, noise, thump, the and then, and then the next jump is up there as they're crouching tiger around up here. And the yes. thump, thump, thump. But Don't it's, the been, it's, now. yeah. What's that? Uh, Wolfie says canines rule and felines drool. Uh, bye. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> Just kidding. I like dogs. I just do not want to own a dog. I, I do not want the responsibility of owning something with that much energy. Um, my brother has a, a blue healer, Australian Shepherd. That thing needs to be walked every day. It needs to be taken outside every day. Multiple times. Like, you got to take your dog outside. Or, you, you know, if you fence in yard, you can let him out. But then you got to go clean up. The, you have to go pick up the poop out of the yard. you got to hunt it down. My cat's all poop in a box. I know where to find it. I don't have to hunt it down. I just cannot deal with that kind of energy it's too much for me it's like having small children how much time do we have left two minutes and 51 seconds yes yes uh, jersey's three and a half and perfectly content to either lay on the couch or play all day she'll match your energy level but see that's the thing i don't have the energy for that i got like two minutes of happy dog energy and i'm like you need to chill i i'm good at tug of war if they have one of those rope things with the knots at both ends right but like that, that's it. And then, like, usually when I play tug of war, I'm just, like, holding onto it, and they're tugging, and then their teeth start bleeding and stuff, and then I, I'm, I'm mean, so I, just, I can't I can't do dogs. I can't. Dora says her dog poops in the same area of the yard all the time. That's an awesome thing you trained it to do. Me too. <laughs> uh, my mom's dogs poop everywhere in the yard, and when you're walking through her yard, it's, it's landmines. You have to constantly be aware of where they are. Alieska does zoomies all through the house, sometimes with, sometimes without one of his toys. Topo is usually without toys. When you hear thumping from Precious, he's got a toy. He's thumping a toy around, he's rolling around, he's on his back, smacking it in the air, flinging it up in the air all the time. Definitely there, having the greatest time. There are toys, we talked about it before, we'll come home from like the grocery store and there's toys on the counter. And Dan will be like, did you put toys up here? Nope, that's Precious. He catches them on his fingernail and flings them up in the air and then he loses them and just goes back to the bucket and finds another one. A beer on bug fell asleep 
Uh, wait, hold on, it went away. Where did it go? It was there. There it is. Uh, did you go through Dan's car door yet? No, the, the wires aren't long enough to go out there. Dan will have to uh, do that on his phone or something for you guys. German Shepherds are the best. I know two breeders, and if you think six is a lot, try at least 20 between both of them. Oh my gosh. If you have the room for it and the energy for it, that's awesome. Growing up, we always had, we had cats, but we also had big, like, full-size dogs. Um, I enjoyed it. Like, as a kid, I had fun with my big dogs, but I, don't, I just don't want to be responsible for it. That's all. It's too much for me. Are we making anything lemony soon? I need a lemony something. Next month we do have on the calendar lemon cream cheese coffee cake. That I, is coming. I think maybe an in, in, in between thing uh, <laughs> yeah. off the show. I need uh, lemon bars. I can do that. Yeah. Do we have like frozen lemon cubes for lemon I bars? I always have frozen lemon but cubes. I'm ready. I am ready for lemon bars. Did we see what happened to Amanda? Amanda said that she was not having the best time here. No, she. Uh, She's just done baking for tonight. She oh, that kind of done baking. Her okay. stuff's done. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. So I've got like 10 seconds and I'll pop it open. Um, Melissa agrees. Lemon. Yeah, lemon cream cheese coffee cake is one of my favorites. I haven't made it in a while. I've been stuck on apple, but we will be doing a lemon cream cheese coffee cake. I don't make a lot of lemon through the winter. To me, it's not a wintry flavor. It's a summery thing. So we're, we're getting into lemon time. Oh, we are still very gooey. We're going five more minutes. That was gooey gooey. Not like a little bit, but a lot of it. Are they open at the right temperature? <laughs> All right, we'll see how five more minutes does. Lemon anything, the puckerier the better. I agree. Who said that? Melissa. Uh-huh. Mooch, are you having the best birthday? Hi, buddy. What you doing? I don't have snacks. You snuggling with your favorite banana? He's he's, he's chilling. On his, that's the first in line bed. His first in line for any bites or yes. things that fall down or anything. He's there. As soon as I start breaking out stuff for sandwiches, he gets all excited. He does. Uh, Doris bought lemons the other day, but now can't remember why. Oh my well, gosh. Then you better hurry and zest them. Find or a recipe. Yes. Juice friend. them. What can we do with them? Both. So if if you forget long enough that you realize you're not going to use them up before they go bad, zest them. Put the zest in a Tupperware, throw it in your freezer. Juice them. Throw the juice in some ice cube trays. Uh, they hold about a tablespoon and throw that in the freezer as well. Once they freeze, pop them out, put them in a Tupperware. Then you have frozen lemon juice and frozen lemon zest for recipes anytime you want. Um, I have made the lemon bars on the show. That is pinned to the Pinterest page. I have made lemon blueberry muffins. Those are amazing as well. Uh, if you're interested, I can send you the lemon cream cheese coffee cake recipe early if you need to use up your lemons. Usually most recipes use like two-ish lemons. Frozen so, lemons are awesome. It's better frozen than Frozen lemon ice cubes? Yeah, because remember growing up, there was, that, there was that plastic lemon that you would squeeze lemon juice out into your foe's eyes? But it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then like, it's like that where it wants a little bit of lemon for the recipe. So instead of that, you can just pull out an ice cube. Yes, yeah. I have not purchased it. that little plastic thing in forever. And that it's good in a pinch. It works if you need a little bit of lemon, but it's not the same. Free, if you find lemons on sale and you're into lemon things, buy the lemons. The bags are usually cheaper, just like kind of poke through them and make sure they all look good, but absolutely buy the lemons, squeeze them and freeze them. Hi. Even better investment, we should get a lemon tree. <laughs> we live in a place where things do not grow well. I would love that to That tree have... over there grew well. Why don't I put it without Somebody would reach over the fence and take our lemons, our little brick wall and take our lemons. Yes. So we can poison half of them. And it takes a really long this time isn't... to have it bear fruit, and I think you have to have something to pollinate it for it to bear fruit, so I think you have to have two. We get to be wrong on that, but I think so. We have room for two. We can give it to the patio we don't use. <laughs> Dang! Well, I trees, would love to have a lemon tree. If we get a lemon and a lime tree, we can make Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> we could. We could. Okay, here, 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 here. we put it by the fence because we, we can't make, we put a higher fence there. But we can put trees there. But trees are tall, and then like they don't really block where you are. Let's Rabbit. get lemon bushes. Can we do that? You don't even use Can we lemon. bonsai a lemon tree? You don't even use lemons. Okay, but I want to. I want to something. You just want a fruit tree? Yeah. <laughs> so you can have rotten fruit in your yard? I'll no. send you to clean up the rotten fruit. You pick it. 
Uh, Melissa says nine lemon cubes to one cup sugar and two quarts water. Good lemonade. Absolutely, that sounds good. I also have a recipe that I believe is pinned to the Pinterest for um, a lemonade that where you make a simple syrup first. And then you do the simple syrup, which is sugar and water, and I think that's it. Um, is that all that's in it? There's got to be something else in it. But you make a simple syrup and then mix it with the, the lemon and water. The lemonade? Yeah. It's really good. Yes. Yeah, that is a really good uh, lemonade. Scott says, most lemon trees, you only need one tree. Okay, good to know. I just don't know. Like, right now, we're not allowed to water when we want to water. We can water for five minutes at a time two days a week between the hours of 10 p.m. and six, no, 6 p.m. and 10 a.m. Depending on your address. Yeah, depending on your address is the days of the week. But every every place you try to look up the information about when you can actually water is different. So I'm not really sure when we're allowed to water. So we just like stealthily go out in the front yard as I'm leaving for work and throw like three to five minutes of water on the yard. Uh, things do not grow well here. I thought California was where all the off-season fruit comes from, not the desert. We are in literal definition of desert. What do we grow out um, here? In our town, we grow alfalfa. Onions, alfalfa. alfalfa. Uh, 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 out that way, the, potato, east, the far potatoes. east side, they have onions. Far west side, they have alfalfa. I don't know nothing um, about potatoes. We have onions and potatoes a few miles away that, that grow potatoes? out in there as well. And then uh, maybe I have onions for sure. We, we have really hard soil. Like really, it's not clay or anything. It's just really hard. It's really hard to get anything to grow in the dirt. So we do a lot of like potted planting. Right, but you know, uh, like on the way to Ventura, we go by all the orchards up there. So but Ventura is closer to the beach, and it's right. it's warmer. They have better. Uh, it's it's not warm. Like we get hot, hot, hot. Like in the hundreds, Ventura doesn't get in the hundreds. Hot, like hot, that. hot. It's only like ninety minutes away to like fruit. Right, but it's <laughs> much closer to the beach. So they Ventura has tons of orchards. Uh, Ventura and Fillmore, I believe. Uh, Scott says, have you ever seen a Ponderosa lemon? No, I don't know what that is. In California, the best orange tree places are now cities. Yes. Yeah, Ventura, you can drive through Ventura and it like smells like oranges and lemons and stuff. I'm gonna go like two more minutes. Topo's uh, wondering what's going on. He's sniffing the air. <laughs> Do you smell it when I open the oven? Yeah, he smelled it. Look at him. What's up, Topo? You should plant cactus. When the flowers fall off the fruit and then and they then purple, you can peel them and make jelly out of it. Interesting. interesting. Um, I don't do pokey cactuses. I don't want to mess with anything that's going to poke me and get under my skin and hurt. Uh, I do succulents. That's my whole front porch is full of succulents. But again, too hard to grow anything in the ground. I tried to do the front yard all succulents and everything just died. It's just the amount of sun and... and awful soil uh there's a lot of stray animals around here that like to use our front yard as a litter box so it it gets really hard to grow anything in the dirt they ate here. my peppers that one they year. did dan grew peppers and the cats just straight ate them uh f vance says when i got cherry trees i had to buy at least two so they could cross pollinate yeah i know you have to do that with a lot of uh types of fruits and stuff when i lived in southern california we used to go for rides through the orange groves yeah when you yeah. drive up the what freeway is that the 126 Right, or back down in Orange County, you know, down the bottom. Yeah, down obviously, the, yeah. Down the bottom. Yeah. Uh, it's a very large lemon that's used commercially for pies. Interesting. I did not know that. Um, beer on bugs. So you're in Texas, right? So you've probably got a large Hispanic population, as do we in Southern California. Um, Hispanics love to cook cactus, like like the the what do you call it? The branch, <laughs> like the actual pokey part of the cactus, like and the flipper. Yeah, they like cut that off and, and cook it. I've never tried it. Your you mom's... tried it at my mom's yeah. house when her neighbor made it. I've never tried it. I, I just don't know if that's a thing that I would be down for, but that is a very popular thing, and I'm sure you've seen it out there as well. But we can go to the uh, Hispanic grocery store out here, and you can just buy like a big chunk of cactus and take it home and barbecue it. I don't know. <laughs> Not really my thing. Okay, let's get this out of the oven. I'm sure it is done now. We're gonna let that cool for a few minutes and then we will make the glaze and we will glaze it. Hannah says, may not call into Dantex tomorrow. 13 year old nephew is coming over to start my the, to start my the night. Brand new typo. 
<laughs> it's a start my the night. I don't know. Um, th- we're we're PG thirteen, aren't we? Oh Most no, I, I I forgot to tell you that it was an f bomb night. Oh, Margaret's calling in. <laughs> yeah, it's f bomb night tomorrow night. <laughs> eh, yeah, there's there's a few here and there. What are you gonna do? Is he really sheltered? Like, he should be okay. Blake was not, like, a cussing and swearing kind of person. And we cussed and sweared around him, and he's still not a cussing and swearing person. Stay the night. There you go. Okay, you had a Maya in there. You threw me all off. Uh, yes, I've seen recipes using cactus pads. Is that what they're called? Cactus pads? And I've had pickled cactus, but wasn't a fan. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds weird to me. I, I don't know if I can do it. Uh, Brittany says that's Mario Kart night. No, not tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday's Mario Kart night. Her nephew's going to be there tomorrow. You can watch Dantix. Turn him on to the wonders of live trivia shows. Oh, not for that reason. He may want to do something. Do Dantix. It's, it's, it's like an hour. Come on. No? No? Try it. Suggest it. See what he thinks. Show him an old episode. Cats are having a Show him an episode where you won and how much fun it could be. Oh, the F-bomb night is Mario Kart night. A little bit. Look, I, I have a lot of road rage. I can't help it. It doesn't make me a bad person. It just makes me an angry person. That's all. Dan doesn't like it. He hates my road rage. I'm in the Pinterest page. Have you made the lemon thing on the show? Not the lemon cream cheese coffee cake. But if you send me a message on Facebook, on the Getting Baker Crystal page, I can link you to the recipe. I'm back. AJ's bedtime. I thought you put him to bed the last two nights so you didn't have to do it tonight. I'm sure you went in and told your kid goodnight because you love him and all that. Yeah, let me know which lemon recipe you're looking for, Doris. Um, the lemonade is on there. The lemon blueberry muffins are on there. And the lemon bars are on there. And I think, I don't know if you can search on Pinterest, like go to my page and then search for lemon. But yeah, if you, if you want the lemon cream cheese coffee cake, just message me. You gotta have cream cheese though. Do you have cream cheese? He swears like a sailor just like his dad. It's hilarious. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I don't curse, you promise? I swear. Same. Uh, Jody wasn't allowed to swear growing up. I didn't swear until I was 21. Oh, man. I, I swear all the time. One time my mom punched me in the eye because I called her a bitch. But she was being a bitch. I was like 14. <laughs> I was like, you're being such a bitch. We were in the car and she went like this with a fist. And I got a black eye. Oops. Don't call your mom a bitch. She don't like that. I, never... I always told Blake, like, you can swear. You're allowed to swear. Don't swear at people. But, like, I hate when parents punish their children because, like, they stubbed their toe and said, damn it. Like, come on. Don't don't uh, you say damn it when you stub your toe? I think I had a normal amount of cussing growing up. My parents, so, like, I never heard them say any swear words. No, my parents always do. My parents came up with creative ones. I, I think when you and I got together, you had never heard dipshit. Is that the one you'd never heard? I don't recall now. I don't. I, I think it? that was the one because you were amazed at like the creative swear words, and I'm like, oh, my parents said that all the time. <laughs> like, Brittany says I couldn't say damn. Oh yeah, see, like, uh, yep, Hannah, I swear when I sprained my ankle, yelled out the f word loudly. I do it without thinking about it. Like, mother f and son of a b just comes out like when I hurt myself. I don't even think about it at all. Brittany says, I don't swear. If if I do, you know I mean business. Oh, I, I swear constantly. Like, it just comes out of my mouth. I did learn to filter myself when Blake was little, and he started picking up some uh, some less bad ones, but things that a three, four-year-old should probably not be saying, so I had to filter myself. Uh, Hannah's parents encouraged her to swear. See, you take the stigma away from it. Mythbusters prove that swearing helps the pain. See? Dan, what do you call a deer that can't curse? A, a, a Rudolph, a, a don't, don't, dear, a don't, a, don't, a female, do, a yeah, golden son. Know. I don't know. What is it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Jess. Good one. Uh, Chris passed out way too early last night and did bedtime. He's doing tonight as well, so I will do the next two nights, I think. Maybe Chris will do Father's Day night just because, yeah, you got to spend time with your kid on Father's Day, right? Adora says, I should have been a sailor. I have a creative vocabulary. It just adds so much. Oh, there he is, being all cute. See, when nobody's paying attention, he sits there and plays all by himself and just rolls around. (laughs) 
He has so much fun with toys. Look, he lived so many years of his life without toys. I literally saw him playing with rocks before at work. Like, there's uh, the front garden area is filled with, like, pretty good-sized white rocks. And I saw him, like, batting them around and, like, rolling on his back, playing with them like an otter. So he's super happy to have fluffy toys, and he makes the most of them. And just he grew up saying things like, for the love of blueberries or other types of fruits. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, Helen is here. Hello, Helen. Uh, I gave the cat some of your treats earlier. Look, they're right here. It is Mooch's gotcha day, so he got some treats from Australia today. He was very happy for those. He ate a bunch of them. Uh, she says, Crystal, I think you and I would get along great because I am a person that gets along with everyone, but I'm a different person behind the wheel. Yeah, it's, it's, something comes out. And the minute, look, you and I could be best friends. If you're driving in front of me and you do something stupid, I'm damning you to hell. Like, you should not even be alive. Why are you driving a car? Go home right now. Drive it off a cliff. I don't care. Get out of my damn way. Like, I I can't with people. Just, just drive appropriately. Follow the rules. Stay in the lane. Don't make any sudden movements. Be predictable. How is that hard? Just do what you're supposed to be doing. Now, Brittany says Precious is so cute. He really is. He's adorable. Like... Someone had asked a week or two ago, like, oh, did you decide what you're going to name him? Look at this cat. He's precious. How do you not call him? Like, I just look at him and I'm like, oh, you're so precious. And that's how he got his name. Like, he's precious. That's it. He's a good child that can play by himself. He prefers to play by himself. He doesn't want anybody to bother him. Amanda says, we don't swear around AJ, but we hear stories of other kids around AJ's age using swear words in the correct context. Yeah, uh, Jason said Bradley came home and used a swear word correctly that he learned from preschool. Um, I think, you know, every, parent your kids how you want to parent your kids, but the, the stigma makes kids want to do it more, like telling them they can't do it. But I agree, like five, six, seven years old, you should not. You should not, three years old, you should not be swearing. I don't want to hear the kids say, damn it, at three years old. Hey, Nan, what do you call a pain reliever that makes you curse? Oh, what? Ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of them, Jess. I love it. I love it. I've been having a lot of fun here tonight. We're running a little bit long. It is 8.23. We're letting our coffee cake cool just a little bit. We will make some glaze for it. But uh, like I said, the recipe calls for it with apple cider and powdered sugar. I'm going to use maple syrup and powdered sugar to give it a little bit of a maple-y flavor. Oh, is that his favorite mouse over there? I, I don't know where the blue one went. and He's kind of replaced it with this green one. It'll pop up when I start cleaning the vacuum. He's probably under a couch or something. Yeah, he'll find it. He he will pull it out and all of a sudden, like, oh, there's your toy. He knows where it is. He might be hiding it. I don't know. But he loves little mice. Oh, he's in the house. He didn't go in the house for a really long time, and now he loves to be in the house. Don't make him get <laughs> precious. Uh, Brittany says, I'm happy it's running late because I can pop in during the slow times at work. Awesome. So you got a job at a hotel, right? Is, is that correct? Like you just hanging out, checking people in and stuff? Is it haunted? Is it haunted, Dan wants to know. He's not coming out of the house. You're going to send Topo in there and it's going to be catastrophic. Nobody's doing anything. Maybe they want other toys. Like what? Like, like that other thing. That other thing. Oh, the butterfly? That corner for the last like week or two, because Dan, Dan has been set up uh, in the dining room with his desk for work because it's closer to where the air conditioner blows. Um, that cat. That corner's just been cat corner. All their toys are all spread yeah, out. Their tunnels, their beds, corner. everything. Yeah, I pretty much... I'll pour out their toys. I'll put their things on the ground. It gets good airflow. Like, I'll, I'll put good airflow through there so they can lay lounge. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty much like... It's pretty much like play area. Over here, you can see, like, their, their cat tree. And I'll have the window open for them so they can see out. Around the corner, there's more toys. All right. Let's move this over here so it's away from the hot oven and it can cool a little bit more. <laughs> it's not even sitting on the trivet because it's a spring form. I can't do anything about it. Oh, 
Let's try that again. Yeah, can it move more, like... Can you come help? Yeah, sure. Put the two trivets next to each other where you want it to be. Okay. Oh, I need to mix icing, though, so I didn't want the hot pan right next uh, to me. Oh, okay. Is that okay? That'll do. And then look at watch. Whoop! I can swoosh you over. <laughs> Thanks, Because you, you want some cat cam, right? Yeah. Yeah, all, fun over there. all summer, I'm gonna try to make sure there's a cat cam. Um, I just reloaded my computer, so I'm working on um, all the kinks. But um, I should have the like the GoPro like we've had the last couple of things set up. Uh, even tomorrow for the antics, we'll have a cat cam. They don't always act up, but I don't know where Topo went. He might be inside the. He's in the bottom of the cat tree. In the gray one. Uh, Helen wants to know if we like popcorn because she picked up four packets of these different flavors. Absolutely. Dan has been on a big popcorn kick. I go back and forth with it. I hate it getting stuck in my teeth, but if it's a good popcorn, I'll eat some, but I'm not a huge fan. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'll, 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 uh, yeah, popcorn. Uh, da, 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 da. Dan loves popcorn. All right, let's get this glaze going. We're going with half a cup of powdered sugar. And then uh, I usually just kind of eyeball it depending on uh, how thick I want it to be. So I'm not going to put a measuring spoon in here. I'm just going to add some maple syrup until it gets to a consistency that I would like for it to be. Always start with less than you need though because you can add more liquid, but if you have to add more powder, then you end up with that more powder, more liquid, more powder, more liquid. So. Go light on the liquid, see how it works. We're definitely going to need more. That all just disappeared. And the pure maple syrup and like the homemade maple syrup works really well for this because it's much more liquidy. It's not so thick. No, I don't have side cam anymore, so I can't really show you guys what's going on. But this is this is still way too thick. We're gonna need more syrup. You don't have syrup or don't want to use syrup you can use uh, milk you can use apple cider like it suggested anything any liquid that you want to mix with the uh, the powdered sugar will give you a glaze and then I just kind of do this to see like when it's a consistency that I want it to be we're gonna go a little bit thinner now Brittany says yes I'm at a front desk it's kind of haunted around me. I check people in. I do eight hours there, then go to my security job from midnight to 7 a.m. Girl, you are hardcore. I did two jobs for a while when I was working at the bank, and they only had me part-time, and then I got another part-time job. I do not like that. I, I worked the same amount of hours as a full-time job. I don't like going from one job to another. It's, it's not fun, even if you get to go home. And worse if you get to go home first, because then you're like, oh, I'm home. Oh, I got to go to work again. I, I am not the person for two jobs. I don't think you want to I'm gonna go just a little bit thicker. I screwed up and went a little too thin. I don't want it too watery. I want it to kind of set on top rather than soaking in. Oh, Brittany says I'm doing 15 hours a day for a bit. Girl, get it. Good for you, but I couldn't do it. All right, I think we're about where we want it to be. I like that the syrup gives it this nice brown color. I think it looks really good with the apple. Like it, it goes well with the color palette, if that makes sense. Um, and I like it a little bit thick, like I said, so it stays on top. Um, I should probably open this up. So it's a spring form, so I can just pop it open and take this off. Can I though? There we go. And then get my cooling rack. When you 
putting glaze on stuff, always put wax paper or parchment paper or newspaper, I don't care, put something under it. Uh, then you have less mess to clean up. This is still really warm, so I have to be very careful. I need a spatula. <laughs> oh, it's gonna crack and break. Oh, that's still very hot on the bottom. Normally I would let this sit a little bit longer, but you know, we're here. Here we go. So it did rise up, it gave us two uh, good sized layers there with the apple in between. And just drizzle it on top. I usually just use a fork because then you don't get big blobs like if you use the spoon. It kind of runs out through the fork tines. It's still very warm, so the glaze is kind of soaking in. I would recommend, if you're not doing this on a live show, give it about like 20 minutes before you put the glaze on. here hello Linda thank you for joining us we are actually just about done but lucky for you we ran a little bit late tonight it was still just a little bit warm in here so I didn't want to turn on the oven so we dragged it out a little bit we have made a cinnamon apple crumb cake in case you're wondering what I'm having for breakfast next week this is it I need to get a rubber spatula to get the rest of it out of there <coughs> So good. Uh, F. Vanth wants to know if a cooling rack like this could be used in the oven to, say, lift a meatloaf above the grease. Um, I would not use one like this that goes up so high, but we have some, uh, and see, a meatloaf wouldn't work because you put it in there raw. But Dan does use, like, we had old toaster ovens that have that, um, you can't see it, it's not on the camera. Um, it's like just this part of it, and we saved those from our old toaster ovens and Dan will put those on a baking sheet and like cook chicken on it and that'll lift it up out of the grease so yeah you could use something like this but I wouldn't use a cooling rack uh these aren't you know they have the big legs on them so if you put stuff that's too heavy on it it'll warp it that's what happened to my old ones that's why I, I got these new ones I think Melissa sent these to me actually mm -hmm. and they work really well because they're not all warped and tilted and falling off cookies and crap but yeah you could definitely do something like that i don't know if meatloaf would be the best idea for for that particular unless you cooked it most of the way first so it solidified and then put it on some sort of little rack but yeah you could definitely do something like that you could probably find some sort of little tray like this but without the legs uh lily you are here we were asking for you earlier hello friend uh, she was getting ready for vacation. Where are you going? Probably somewhere fun. Alright, there is cinnamon apple coffee cake. I don't want to slice it because it's really warm and I think it's just going to crumble and fall apart. Do you want to taste it, Dan? No, I want it to like do its thing. Okay. So I'm going to leave this. We will try this tomorrow night on Dantix. Uh, we'll, if you guys uh, want to tune in for that at 6 p.m. Pacific. I'll bring that camera back over there in a second. I was watching Topo Din Rizzo and Precious. Now Linda says, that looks yummy. Kitty Cam, which kitty is the black and tan and white one? Oh, that's um, 
Oh, yes, that's Rizzo. The one by the door. I didn't see her there. I was looking at the other two going, there's not one that color. Yeah, the, the little one by the door, little fluffy one, that's Rizzo. The one in the house, I'm pointing the wrong way because they're over here for you guys. Uh, the orange one in the house is Precious, and the one that just came out of the tunnel is Topo. Uh, could you use it with a rack closed? I asked because always an outlet store has a whole bunch of them. Absolutely, yeah, just fold those legs under and it would just lift it up a little bit. Absolutely, if you want to cook meat and lift it up out of the grease, just Dan's make, done that for years. Just please make sure you look at the packaging if you're getting one of those to make sure that if it is okay for the oven or not. Yes, these are not necessarily like made coating. to go in the oven. Yeah. The coating might not work, so make sure you get something that is meant to go into the oven. Uh, Adele says I managed to get the Anzac biscuits done. Cornflake and Sultanas are in the oven, and now I've got to keep the motivation to get the banana oatmeal muffins done. That's hard when you when you sit there and, and plan out all the everything's you're gonna make, and then you're getting towards the end, and you're like, oh, I just gotta get this one thing done. I'm almost done. Ooh, coffee cake. Oops, sorry for the bad angle. Uh, Melissa, with some advice for F Vanth, they make a meatloaf pan that is the shape of a loaf pan, and it has an insert that has a bunch of holes in it to let the grease dip down, drip down into the lower pan. Brilliant. I had no idea because, you know, I don't make meatloaf. Sorry, my thing's off. It's like funky now for the room. There we go. Uh, what did you need me for earlier? Also, I'm going to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Awesome. That sounds fun. Um, yeah, we, somebody was asking, like, the difference between bread and cake, and I thought you might know, but uh, Uncle Yukon actually did some research and, and helped us out. I am not letting this go to waste. Don't mind me. Yes, I don't know if you're still here, but your syrup is really good. The, the dark one is my favorite. Uh, Amanda's also going to wait and let it set and cut into it tomorrow. I will say it is really good warm, but we usually let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's still warm inside and have a slice of it for dessert when I make it at night. And then I throw it in the fridge and cut a slice every morning for breakfast and take that to work with me. I usually eat it closer to room temperature than cold, but it's good cold, it's good room temperature, and it's good warm. We'll eat some tomorrow on Dantic. So please, uh, Amanda, at some point, if you haven't already, post a picture. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, Hannah posted a picture. It's so cute. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, here's Hannah's cat. Griffin watching our cats, even though uh, there are no cats on the camera at that point. Well, maybe they're off to the side here because your, your TV's cut off. But her cat was watching our cats. I love it. Uh, thank you, Holly. Yes, don't forget to take pictures. Appreciate you. You know I forget that very often. I will take one of the whole darn thing here. And then once we slice it, I'll take a picture of it sliced. Uh, Adele says picture uploaded to the group. Okay, let me find that as well. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. Amanda, is Chris asleep? What is he doing with his life? Uh, this popped up first. Uh, I don't know if Shannon's here, but Shannon made some uh, comfort food for dinner. She had center cut pork chops cooked in the air fryer and baked potatoes. That looks really good. Nice job, that Shannon. That does look good. Good job. And uh, Chris posted, when you're baking and the recipe says, chill in the fridge for an hour. Oh, Chris. Uh, by the way, my fridge has never been that empty, ever, in my life. And here are Adele's Anzac biscuits. Like I said, never heard of them. Not a thing we really have here. Or maybe we have it and call it by a different name. I don't know what your ingredients are. Whoa. Nope. You stay there. But it does look like a pretty dry cookie, so I can see how that would keep well. Uh, I think we're good there. Uh, Amanda will post pictures tomorrow. Booch is super cute with his banana. He loves it. He snuggles it all the time. Um, does anyone else bake bacon? Uh, before Dan stopped eating bacon, yes, he was cooking it in the oven. It's much less messy. And uh, same thing, he would use, that's something he would use the rack for. Not this rack, but like the one that came out of our old toaster oven, just a square one. And he would lay the bacon across that on some foil and that would catch all the grease. So it wasn't cooking its own grease. One last joke for you, Dan. Yes, of course. How is history like a fruitcake? Uh, how is history like a fruitcake? Both of them are full of dates. 
<laughs> thank you, nice. Jody. Thank you, Jess T. And thank you to everybody who uh, gave us some jokes tonight. You guys mm-hmm. are on it with those. Yeah, you've been bringing, you've been bringing in the laughs. Yes. Uh, F. Matt said, good job keeping up with the chat. I try. I really like to interact with you guys. That's my favorite part of doing this. Um, which is why, you know, as we discussed earlier, doing shows later and not having as much of an audience, you guys can watch it later. I don't want to do that. I like to talk to you guys. But if it gets too hot, we, we might just hang out. Uh, getting getting hang out before, with yeah. Crystal. <laughs> it's too hot to bake with Crystal. Uh, Helen says, check your messenger account. She sent you a photo oh, of okay, the Oh, okay, I'll do that. We'll, we could also have waffle night when it gets too hot. Yes. Uh, Adele says, it's oats, flour, golden syrup, coconut, sugar, baking soda, and butter. Okay, so like an oatmeal cookie... I do have golden syrup. I, you know, that's, I don't know if you were here long enough ago to see, uh, golden syrup is not a thing that we have here. We just use corn syrup. And I didn't know they were different things until I made a particular recipe that called for golden syrup. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And so I went and looked it up and I found some and I bought it. And I actually want to make the honeycomb candy, uh, what basically is inside of a crunchy bar. I think you guys have those there. It says, uh, they're traditionally made with golden syrup and that's different and adds a different flavor to it. So... Uh, I may have to do that at some point. But yes, I do actually have golden syrup. Send me your recipe. I want, I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Anzac cookies. Uh, getting actually baked with Crystal? Um, you've been drunk with me. You see how all those shows go. I, I have a hard time focusing. Alright, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. It has been almost three hours. Some of you need to go to bed. What are you doing? Um, we'll be back tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific time doing some call-in dantics so get your phones ready your skypes yeah, ready and uh, i'm so excited yeah we've been doing fewer of those we've been we've been sprinkling in some other things on saturdays so dan's been getting way more excited for the call-in shows so please call in guys if you haven't and you're a little nervous about it just do it don't be afraid uh yeah you basically make a honeycomb and add it to the dry ingredients interesting jody got the excuse me the same waffle maker that you got nice i love it uh, Amanda, thank you for baking along. Like I said, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for even suggesting that in the first place. If you guys don't know, when we first started this, uh, Chris helped us come up with the name for the show, and Amanda suggested that we post the recipe so that you guys can bake along. So if you ever baked along, you've got Amanda to thank for that. You guys can check the Pinterest page. This recipe and all the other ones I've ever made on the show are on there. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video on your way out if you have not already. Thank you to everybody for showing up. Thank you to everybody for the super chats and all the support all the time. You know, we love you guys. Don't forget, if you are a part of the uh, Dan TV level membership, go check out the uh, home movies. Is that what we're calling it? Whatever we're calling There's a video up there. It's like almost an hour long. You guys can watch us commentate on our old things. Podcast coming next week. Have a great night. Uh, Adele, yes, post the recipe on the group. Absolutely. I would love to... Uh, See that maybe we'll try that out soon. Why not? We we've, we've tried a few recipes you guys have sent us, um, and I like trying the things from other countries where we don't have those here. So yes, please, absolutely. Um, bye guys. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.